Hey, th- I'm I'm talking out of my mic, right? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. We're recording. I hear the, yeah. <laughs> I hear the tapping. There's no tapping. You didn't hear the tapping? No. You hear that? No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. But maybe my Discord is. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go. Let me fix it. If you go to video, it's like a... if you go to video and audio settings. Oh, you can switch the mic. Yeah, you have to do it oh, manually. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't do it automatically. Oh, that's probably why. Because I was listening to my audio on the thing, and it did not sound good. I was so upset. Okay. Um. It should be video and audio. It should be called like Scarlet or something. Yeah. Yeah. I know it. It it says it's using the Scarlet. Oh. Uh, weird. Maybe it's. Does that sound any different? Uh, it sounds. Hey. It sounds much clearer. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's coming out of the mic now, right? Any different? Yeah. It sounds much clearer. Yeah. Am I feels good? Are you what? Hello, this man cut out. Hello, can you hear me? Say a yeah, say a full sentence. Right, yeah. I feel like you did something, and it's like cutting you out now. Well, yeah, it's cutting you out like mid sentence. Lying. You mess. You mess with gain. your your gain or something. Not your gain. Your um. But now, can you hear me? I'm testing, testing, testing. I'm going through my sentence. I'm going. I'm still. You're still um, cutting out. You're lying. Okay, do me a favor here. Go to the user settings, voice and video. Do you have automatically determined input sensitivity on? Um. Wait, Luis, am I cutting out for you? No, for me you're good. Wait, on the Twitch thing? No, like no. the actual call. Oh, no, no, for me you're good. I think it's you, Jordy, because I just heard the Twitch stream and I, I don't sound like I'm cutting out at all. You're like... Or maybe it's his Wi-Fi. No. It's you, Chicago Wi-Fi. Oh, my God. Why would you say that, Luis? For nobody can nobody's in here. <laughs> Whatever. Can you say a sentence? Oh, say <laughs> uh, okay. Hi. Hello. I'm on the sentence. I'm listening to my. I'm listening to it right now. Hold on. I'm listening. Because it's yeah, bro. I'm I'm listening to this Twitch stream and I'm I sound fine. Yeah. Okay. It's well, not. I mean, I can still do. Because I'm not saying like it's like literally cutting you out, but like it's almost oh. like it's ending early. Like, like once you stop talking, like you can tell that the mic just turned off. Like you know. Um. Uh, like all okay, the. So I could do that thing. I could do the thing that you were trying to tell me to do. If you want. Um. If you sound good on the stream, then let's just keep it. Let me hear it one more time. Oh, I mean, I can't, I, can't I, ne- I didn't notice what you're talking about, but at the same time, I didn't, like, look out for it, you know? So it could be there, but uh, it's up to you. Um, Let's just start. I think we wasted a lot of time already. <laughs> yeah, okay, then. Let's Wait, we got four viewers. What the hell? I'm not sure. <laughs> three of us. It's the three of us and one other uh, person. Hey, that's still that's, that's still someone new. Luis, Is that you... the man from last time? He, I don't think he showed up. Wait, what if it was? What if it's what's his name? Um, Taylor Bro, we said we were never gonna forget him. Fan killer. It's <laughs> fan killer. Him. Number number one fan killer or something. Yeah, number one oh, fan killer. God. That's the boy. Wait, Wait who are these know? other people like? Oh, he left. We said you Buster Nutter. Yeah, I'm Buster Nutter, dog. Yeah, it's just the three of us, right? Yeah, it's us. <laughs> yeah, he was here. I mean, he's gone now. 
Wait, we have. What the heck? Bro, is it emotes? Oh, there is. Wait, no, it is. I said there's four people in here. Oh, yeah, there is. On my thing, I see four oh, yeah. people. Yeah, you're right. We got someone. All right, well, should we start then? Um, yes. Let's do the intro. <laughs> Nose goes. <laughs> well, actually, you know, I, I, I don't want to say the intro or whatever, but I just want to say something real quick that that got me thinking from last uh, last week. I feel Dude, like it feels like a long ass week, man. I feel like we should hey, say this in the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, what? Well, well I'll do the intro then, you since no one it. wants to do it. <laughs> wait, Jordy, one before you do that, how do I turn you up? Um, you double click on my. Way. Double click on my person. Oh, okay. There should be like a little bar that says users vol yeah. user volume or something. Okay, I got it. Thank you. I go for it. Okay, and welcome to episode five of the high school dropouts, featuring Luis. You know the vibe. <laughs> special guest, hey, Luis. Wait, why is he a why special guest? I'm not a special guest, bro. I'm a regular, regular person. He's a regular now, bro. Come on. Oh, bro. Yeah. my bad. I didn't know you guys why made it official. Next, like, 10. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. But Luis, I mean, Luis is a, he's an OG member, you know? So. Yo, shout out Richard. <laughs> we always do this. <laughs> no, no. He, he's not part of the game. He was, he was, he was a special okay. guest. He was a special guest. No, technically he was an OG, right? <laughs> but anyways, we're back. Uh, episode 5, even though there was like an episode missing on the channel. But you know, whatever, we move. Episode 5, officially. Eventually we'll have so many that it won't even matter. So, uh, you know, what's going on with you guys? Y'all got anything to kick us off real quick right now? Yeah, so quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... Well, uh, it got. Uh, I was thinking right about what you said because of a whole little conversation from last time. Uh, that you you asked me, could I be happy with uh like this attention from all these girls? Mm -hmm. And right back into it. And conclusion. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Um, you know, I haven't been talking to no shoddy. I actually, you know, I ha I've been active, you know, on social media, but I haven't really been like talking to anyone. At all, so you know, yeah, I don't know. Like, who answered Jordy, your question? Yes, can I you can. fact check this. Has he been active on Facebook, Luis? Yeah, <laughs> he has, he hasn't been that active actually. He's been active on so Instagram. Been... Oh, so he's like, I still, I, I still post stuff, but yeah. like, nah, nothing too crazy like that. I'm not really talking is, to no girl. Is, is, is he stressed, Jordy? No, so we were we were talking about this like after the show last week. How when he was talking to like this one the girl that Becky, um, he yeah. stopped posting those in inspirational quotes on Instagram, and I was that like, was toxic. Yeah. <laughs> she took the inspiration out of me, man. Oh wait, that's true. You used to post like hella inspirational quotes on IG, huh? And then like they stopped for like a good what month? <laughs> yeah, and now they're back. And cornier than ever. Like, like I guess so. If yeah. If he doesn't post that, we just know something's wrong. Yeah, if he yeah, doesn't post it. If I don't post that in the day, <laughs> but I just know, like, um, there's something going on. Yeah, bro, don't, don't get surprised when they hit you up one day, like, hey, Luis, you all right, bro? <laughs> You'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm posted, bro. Goddamn. Bruh, his Baja Blast. <laughs> Have you guys oh, had yeah. Baja Blast? Yeah, it was good. The food there, not nah, good. I mean, it's good, but it is not like it messes up my stomach. The so Fabian, I was oh, bad. The food trucks did indeed leave, so I couldn't get actual Mexican food. Oh. So I had to resort to Taco Bell. Oh, wait, is that where ba the Baja Blast is from? Yeah. Okay. Baja Blast isn't Baja Blast from Taco Bell. He said, I said Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Mexican food. I was like, what the No, heck? I was going to get Mexican okay. food. Okay, so yeah. do, you, do I tell him what happened? Or do you want to tell him what you did to me, Fabian? 
what I did to you. Okay. Yes, what you I'll did to me. <laughs> I'll tell him because because you're gonna frame me <laughs> to look terrible. So, I still um, can. <laughs> I still can. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so for the last two days, so yesterday and today, Jordy's been helping me with math homework because out of nowhere I decided I didn't want to fail math. So I asked him for help so that I could prepare for a test that I had today that I took today, and um, so he was helping me for a long time. And today. The plan was to finish up some of the homeworks that we had left from yesterday. And uh, basically, so he helped me. Like, we scheduled to, like, do it from, like, um, 11 to 1-ish, which it went all the way to, like, 1.30. So he was already trying to go and go to a Mexican food truck to, to get some food, you know? And I was like, man, thank you for your help. I appreciate you. Go get your food. Next thing you know, I go to take my test. Okay, okay, okay. Like, so oh, as, as soon as we... We take our own separate ways, you know, Fabian, I wish him luck on his test, you know, I put on my mask, my, my, um, bag, you know, everything I suit up to go grocery shopping. So I exit the premises of the building or of my room and I get on the elevator and there's a ding on my phone. And I'm like, it's the boy Fabian. And I see a message that says urgent need help <laughs> no like did this man go to the wrong side of the of the neighborhood what happened here <laughs> no i like what the heck were you gonna do bro? and so fabian's like <laughs> fabian's like i can't take the test and i'm like what what do you mean you can't take the test <laughs> so he says i need your help like i need to do like this knowledge what's it called the knowledge check. The knowledge oh, check. Knowledge <laughs> and I'm already in the elevator and like the door's about to close. So I like put my <laughs> arm, I extend extend the bias my arm so that the elevator doesn't close and I go back to my room to help this man finish his knowledge check. <laughs> and the thing is, bro, it's like an anime superhero scene where he just like sticks his arm through the elevator just to come save my life, bro. Because, bro, you don't understand. They they wouldn't let me take the test unless I finished that knowledge check. And bro, you realize that if you do ten questions like correctly, you you that's it. You don't have to do all thirty of them. Yeah, that's what okay. happened. So me and that's why I kept telling Jordy like we have to do good on the knowledge check or else. Hey, <laughs> no, you have time. to do good on the knowledge check. <laughs> I know. No, <laughs> we have to do good, bro. This was a this yeah, is exactly. a we effort. This, was, <laughs> this is we. And we is a stretch because Jordy was all over that thing, bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I was like, we really have to like do good. And if and plus, if you don't do good on the knowledge check, like they set you back, bro. Like you have to relearn the topic, so I could like potentially move backwards during this damn knowledge check. But yeah, Jordy comes on and he helps me. And then I'm able to take the test later. And your boy got a 96%, bro. So, the same. Also, shout like out to, guess. like, <laughs> our big-ass brain to came up with the new method to solve <laughs> math. Bro, pretty much all the problems, we did not solve them the way we were supposed to. And we just came up with different methods. But then there's one specific type of problem. We just, like, finessed it and, like, created our own algorithm. Bro. Like, we need to get paid, bro. Someone's got to that's, that's what I. It. That's what I do. That's what I do. Cause some of the th- the some of the things that uh, Alex teaches you, bro, that shit is so complicated, so oh, complicated, like, like unnecessary. Like stuff. there's like thirty five steps to solve this problem. Fabian and I, we we found a way to make it two steps, bro. Like <laughs> we're efficient. And it works every time. It works, like, every, it works time every time too. Time. <laughs> <laughs> like without fail, like it's guaranteed. I was so shook. <laughs> We just made it up. Like, I mean, technically we we're cheating, but still. Like, do we know what the numbers mean? No, but we we're getting the right answer. <laughs> but does anybody, bro? Like, let's be honest. No one knows what they're doing. Come on now. So yeah, apparently oh. we finished one month of homework in like two days or something ridiculous. Uh, like that. <laughs> it wasn't a month. Maybe that was like a week at most. But I did most of it, so I, I wouldn't know good, how much work on you. No, yeah, for real, like, it was a big help, and uh, it, it was weird, it felt like a, because I've always been bad at math, but, like, it finally, like, when I was taking that test, like, I actually knew what I was doing, I don't know what it was, like, I mean, obviously, I know it was Jordy helping me and stuff. That was there in spirit, like, bro. I know, yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude, because I just kept, like, and, like, even, like, those hard problems that you were helping me with, that, like, 
that it was like mostly you doing them like the you know remember like the percentage and the mixtures yeah. and you do like the a and b chart mm -hmm. like th that was all you when we did it but somehow when we got to when i got to that question on the test like it just hit me and i was like I i'm gonna get this right and i actually got that question right i did it like legit bro every time you answered a question you just heard in your in your head me saying it looks right yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, I think it's right, bro. <laughs> it looks right, bro. <laughs> That's all Jordy would say, Luis. He would just, like, he wouldn't confirm my answers. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> bro, when, when you take the test, do you, like, talk to yourself? Because for, well, for me, it records me. Like, I'm pretty sure it records you, too, right? You have to have your mic on and your camera. Mm -hmm. Or no? Yeah? yeah you bro, I'd be talking thing, to yeah. myself. And, like, I don't want to make it seem like I'm cheating, bro. <laughs> so like i be showing the work to the camera bro and i'm oh talking to myself I'm like i'm like yeah i did this and i did that oh my like, oh yeah but i know the teacher clowning you're just talking to yourself like yo i gotta add this guy to that. oh i dropped my phone watch out let me click that in. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for us it's different because they don't record it but they have like a, a ta in in a zoom call with like a group of us and they're like watching us live just like making sure we're not cheating see for me we have a TA watching us, but I can turn off my cam and my mic, and I can just scroll all over the internet. Well, that's, that's literally, literally <laughs> yeah. What's the point? Of that? Hey, bro. I, hey, if you have. I'm grateful, bro, because I wasn't able to study for my midterm today, and like, you know, I just went on Safari, you know, searched the ball, the answers, and finished. Bro, I took a I took a <laughs> bio exam today. I felt good on all the other ones. The past two exams, this one. God damn! I know I felt this one, man. Right? I know I felt this one, bro. That's such a heartbreaking feeling when you just you know there there was nothing you could do now. Like there's nothing I know there was nothing I could have done. And but I mean it's my fault. It's my fault. I studied one night, like the night before yesterday. Yeah, I knew that. I knew there was no good outcome there. So I mean, studying for one night is already out. asking for enough, bro. To be honest here. Yeah. Dude, a lot of people, dude, I've never studied a day in my life, and I probably never will, <laughs> like. No, but, like, I don't study for, like, when it comes to math, unless it's, like, an actual complicated, like, thing. But for, like, when it comes to, like, science and shit, like, it's uh, mostly, like, like, like memorization. memorization yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, specific, it was about enzymes and stuff like that. Like, I understood that, but when they asked for, like, the specific specifics, I just, I knew, I knew I, I was taking a fat out, like. I just want to know how big of an I'm taking right now. So my grades gonna drop. That's all I know. Dude, isn't it funny how like we're we're called the high school dropout? Like we're opening this whole segment with school talk. <laughs> yeah, the irony. Is he such nerds? Anyways, <laughs> says the anyway, one that uh, traveled to a different state for his school. Oh, bro, literally across <laughs> the country, bro, and he's struggling right now. I am struggling. He's struggling. Both oh, mentally like, and how, physically. How bad? How bad? How, wait, physically? What the? Oh, yeah, because your chest pains? Oh, yeah, I I forgot about that. Um, They're coming back wait, now. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been, since like, even last week, like I had chest pains during the podcast, but I just didn't want to talk about it. Because I thought it was just going to go away, but it's been two weeks now, and my chest... Chest pains? Yeah. Oh, bro, me too, like, well, not during the podcast, but, like, my heart be hurting. Bro. Yes, my, my heart. Lungs, my like heart. Stabs it. Yeah. My car. Like, That's exactly like, what I literally feel. Literally, someone is driving a needle inside of it, and it hurts. Yeah, that's what I feel. Damn. No, but it's, it's pretty much, it sounds dumb. But it's pretty much like air, like when your heart is like some like air trapped or something like I don't know. I read about it. It's like your air is trapped in there or something like that, and that's why it hurts. But it's nothing. It's nothing bad. It's just gonna hurt a lot, like a lot, a lot. But it's been two weeks. Right? That air has to come out, right? Like, ASAP, no Rocky, bro. Wait. I just hit my, I just hit my my chest hard, bro. It's not like it doesn't help, but it makes me feel better. Yo, I heard that because I used to have like really bad chest pains too like a while ago and i it was like super bad i had to go to the doctor and uh they would they told me that that uh it was potentially that the reason my chest was growing is because or not growing but the reason my <laughs> chest is hurting is because <laughs> because i was growing like 
just grown as a human. Oh, bro, watch Jordy come back during December, like all tall as play, like six foot two and yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, that's what they were telling me. They're like, shit. oh, because you're going, because you're going. Transitional phase, like you're probably just getting growth spurt or something. Nah, bro, nah, I've been feeling that pain for so long, and I, I'm still fine now. That's Bullshit. not gonna happen. I've lost all hope already. I heard that about <laughs> your legs. That when your legs hurt out of nowhere, that's because they're you're growing or some bullshit like that. Mm. That's just a lie. What if like doctors are trying to like finesse their way out of their job? <laughs> No. They're like, hey, bro, I don't feel like treating your legs today. You know what? You're bro, that's what the nurses do, like, middle school, bro. Like, you could be bleeding out, and they give you an ice pack, and they tell you to lay down, and then they send you back to class, like, 10 minutes after. Bro, sometimes I would just go to the nurse, like, so I could get, like, apple juice and, like, some saltine crackers. That's, like, the best meal, oh, like, on bro. God, bro. Oh, bro, God. Nah, for me, they, they would give uh, ginger ale with lemonade and the crackers. Bro, that shit was slap. No cow, bro. That shit was good as hell. So, anyways, <laughs> so my nurse would give me like a bad look and their paper cut. Oh, out and get the hell out of nah, here. my nurse, my nurse was chill with me and like she knew my mom. So I'd be like, hey, yo, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> Let me go home. And she would call my mom. I'd be like, hey, let's go. And I'd be just chilling at home and shit, pretending I'm sick, but I'm not really sick. I'm yeah. pretty fast to leave. It's not even but... worth being sick because my parents would not let me do anything. No, yeah. So if I my got... parents be like, go, go lay down and go yeah, to sleep yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. They wouldn't let me do anything. <laughs> yeah. If I had my, if I had like my PSP or my PS3. Shout out to those those gaming systems. PSP ahead of its time. Anyways, they they take that shit away. They'd be like, no, you're sick. Like you're dying. You can't be playing with that shit. I'm like, leave me alone. I'm not bad. On God, bro. Let me play my PSP. Like on, like I'm not sick enough to not play my PSP. You know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Only sick enough to not go to school. But then they'll hit you with the, oh, you ain't sick enough to do your homework with? Oh, God. All right, anyways, anyways. You guys want to talk about, have a little discussion? Or no? Um, I have a story I have to, I want oh, to Oh, yeah, tell. your story. Right, right, right. Let's, let's hear that. <sighs> okay, I need to pull up the, the receipts here. Damn, wait, what? what? Can you give us context? What is... What okay, is, so sh what should I mean? name drop this person? Oh, yeah, I would recommend no, but you do you. I'm not... Personally, I am not attached to this person whatsoever. Maybe like an initial? And I think you know this person better than I do, Fabian. Oh, God. Then I, I really don't want you to say that. <laughs> I'm gonna say cause Just she, say it, bro. Because they pissed me off. Oh, hello. <laughs> Okay. Right. Fabian, do you know Giselle? Nope. I don't know who that is. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Bro. We are going here. <laughs> this what person. Giselle? Do you want to explain I... who this person is, Fabian? No, no, no. Just continue with the story. No, I, I feel like you need context. Or, like, just no, how, just how you. With the story, or just how you know them. I'm pissed. Okay, I'll, I'll say it. But, like, vaguely. So, basically. But we're talking about the same just though. Yeah, we only know when so. Yeah. Um I used to do drumline in high school, but like at a separate high school. And I met Giselle through the drumline. She we were in the baseline together the first year and then Pinnacle? Yeah, yeah, Pinnacle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's just, this bro, it's, not like, it's not bro, it's not like if we're gonna go there. It's not like no no no. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um no but I mean we we never became like close friends or anything, so I don't mind. And uh, she dated my best friend at some point, so it's that. Well, I wouldn't. Anyway. I, I wouldn't have said that, but okay. Wait, who? <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted to tell. No, me. I just thought yeah. like how you know her, like how you met her. Oh, okay. well, yeah, yeah. I, I just yeah, we just drunk. <laughs> she's cool. Oh, she's not cool. <laughs> she is definitely okay. not cool. <laughs> okay, well, she was cool to me. I gave her my turtle, bro. <laughs> you gave it to the wrong person. Damn! Did something really happen, bro? Yes. Okay, look, okay so I have her on social media right yeah so there was two two instances where she just made me mad she irked me okay so the, the first one wasn't so bad and like i i i was being uh a karen about it but the second one that's the one that you know crossed the line okay so i'm just gonna say the first one so a couple of days ago, 
not even like two weeks ago on her story right she posted her and two other girls right they were wearing <laughs> all white they had a white hoodie and they had the hoodies like the hoods on and them them hoods were were pointing up <laughs> like the kkk i was gonna build up to it but yes they also had their face covered oh and when you have three people dressed all in white with hoods on you know like oh. it just looks bad right uh -huh. so i was like yo like okay so i wasn't i didn't approach this in like a bad way i was just like yo like this ain't looking good chief and she was like she's like why completely clueless oh, like completely yeah, cause I I was I uh, messaged her like commented on your story or whatever. I was like, yo, like this isn't this is like this ain't it, Chief. Oh my god! Wait, have you hit her up before that? Like, have you in interacted before? Probably, but not that much. Does she know you? Like, does she know that you know me? She still thinks I'm your cousin. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait. So wait. Oh god. So she actually like knows who you are. Yes. Okay. Okay. Like anyways, she, continue. she knows me as your cousin. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, I was like, "Yo, this ain't it, Chief," and she's like, "Why?" Still completely clueless, right? So then I send a picture of the hooded men. Oh my god! Just saying, Kiki, Kuku. And um, she was like, she's like, I don't see how. And I'm like, okay, you're kind of. And you're dumb as hell. Yeah, you're kind of dumb point. as hell. Like, come on now. Like, it could be misconstrued this way. Again, like, it wasn't anything too bad. I was just being a Karen about it, yeah, but I was like, it just depends on the picture. Because obviously, I'm not looking at it or anything. So, first of all, she's she's Mexican, so you know, I don't think she has any prejudice. <laughs> but uh, um, it was probably just like a an intentional thing to look like the KKK. Yeah. Yes. I don't think anybody would do that in this day and age anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I was just letting her know and whatever. But like the the fact that she's You're a Karen. Okay, <laughs> bro. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> hey bro, I'm just I was just looking out for her. Like if if my boy Luis did that, I would also let him know. No, hold on. Wait a minute, bro. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if I were to do that, bro, I would have got cancer, bro. I would have gone castrated bro. i would have been killed remember what happened last yeah time? also that bro With like the whole riot like 89 percent of her friends are like white <laughs> that's true yeah but so, still you know it, 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 it could be misunderstanding she probably didn't see it that way but yeah i was just letting her know whatever but like she always i'm not gonna lie she always gave me this vibe that she's like a fake activist or whatever Oh, or like she posts stuff on her story but like she never really actually cares about it you know okay uh anyways the one that really set me <laughs> off um about to get juicy it's about to get juicy oh god okay. i even saved the conversation oh yeah i remember <laughs> you you hinted at this <laughs> okay so i was like okay so she posted another thing on her story right there was a video of her in a frat party like, like this is like the frat parties you see in like movies like no mask oh, everybody's sorry? clothes yeah on her story on ig i think so i don't yeah no snapchat Wait, I'm not seeing these snapchat oh, snap. is it her private snap i think so yeah i don't remember okay, i haven't seen i don't even remember her but anyway go on but yeah, frat party, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, like, it's COVID season. You hit her up? <laughs> yeah, I, I was, again, wow, no. okay, again, Why? like, she's in a frat party, bro. It's COVID season. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. No mask, no nothing. Like, this bro, was... I get you, but, like, a lot of people do that, dude. Like... Yeah, you're right. Hey, like, not going to cap. I see your intention behind it, like it's good, but you're looking, you're looking like the villain of the story. Oh right now. You're, you're How? Like the Karen. How? You're like the Karen. How? Why, like, no, 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 just no, no. let her I do her, bro. Nah, yeah, 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 I would say like, I, I would say it's like, like just not your business, you know? Yeah, it's just like your mind your own beeswax. Well. That's what they teach you, bro. But like, your intentions are good, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But Anyways, yeah, I feel like you're. I'm like, still not done, yeah, bro. Keep going. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay, well, since you guys are literally going to say that I'm a Karen, whatever. I'll just yeah. go down this route. Let's do it. Um, I don't think I saved, like, the beginning. Oh, okay. Okay, so I, I literally just sent, it's COVID season. That's literally all I sent. And she replied, I'm trying to live life. The world will never be the same and COVID will always exist. People just need to normalize it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. Okay, you see? No. You see where I'm coming from now. No, I mean, yeah. still. Yeah, I could. No, no, no. But the thing, the still, thing is, but you what she said. From her. <laughs> yeah, okay, but okay, what okay. She okay. Hold up. You did it. Whatever. <laughs> Those people are just full of shit, bro. How do you? How are you gonna say that when millions of people died and like right now the numbers are increasing? Well, at least here in the United States. But yeah, like, yeah, Arizona too. Arizona's crazy. Right now. Like that's just crazy. Yeah. Like I didn't think a person would ever like. I would ever meet a person who would say like, "Oh, you, you just normalize it." Which, first of all, is really messed up because she comes from a rich household who can afford. Yeah medical stuff and like you know not everyone can afford hospital yeah. bills and everything like that's so, all blessed so yeah, it should not be that, that the, all the kids from pinnacle from the drum line that i marched are really rich <laughs> so it's okay for her to at least above average it's okay for her to say to normalize it when she's literally going to be okay because she has money so whatever like that actually pissed me off and I, I just replied okay at first but then i was like no that's not okay <laughs> And then, uh, come on. <laughs> no, I was gonna drag her, bro. You did not. <laughs> Jesus. I was like, okay, this is what I said next. I was like, I feel like that's kind of selfish, but whatever. There's nothing I can say because you already made up your mind. Mm -hmm. And then she does. She still like. She only cares about me calling her selfish. Because then she said, "So you're calling me selfish?" Question mark. Like she, <laughs> she does not care about like anything else but like how people look at her i guess so she she said you so you're calling me selfish and i was like i replied yeah and then she's like um don't call me selfish blah 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 you don't know oh, me that well no, no that's a little blah, 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 blah. what <laughs> read the blah 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 yeah that's why uh like she said first of all you don't know me so don't call me selfish or something like that oh, okay she said first of all you don't know me that well so don't call me selfish and second of all i'm not selfish now what you did is literally being selfish and shit yeah and this is what i replied with oh god <laughs> this is one of my signature lines oh my god you karen i was like what? well that's what i think so it is what it is. Oh my God. <laughs> it is what it is. But like I said, you've already made up your mind. And you're too far gone now. So I'll just <laughs> let you be. And I'll call you selfish. But that doesn't mean you can't live life however you want to. Damn, that's kind of, that kind of, that kind of flowed nicely, bro. I don't know. Yeah, low-key, but I know that shit went through one ear and left out the other, bro. I don't got what shit go fuck. I know, bro. You really think she gonna give a damn? Well, she doesn't give a said. damn. Yeah, she already like she I already. Give a damn. Uh -uh. I literally she said. She did not respond to it because she knew I was right, and she is a selfish person. And I will die on that hill. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, Luis, you wanna react to that first? <laughs> okay, as your friend, you know. None of your beast marks, but what she said, she was completely wrong, and that's it. I will die on that hill with you as well. Thank you. I can second that, yeah. That's, to be fair. Yeah, but okay, also, I understand the part where you guys are like, okay, this is, like, not your business, but at the same time, like, if yeah. you're seeing this, like, you should kind of, like, yeah. act, like, speak up, because... No, Obviously, don't get me like, wrong, like, don't get me wrong. Uh, sorry, I interrupt, but, like, at work, yeah. you know, well, like, when everything was going on, I was those type of people, like, hey, yo, wear a mask, and this, that. But then after a while, I just stopped because people would get mad at me and they would want to like, they'd be like, oh, it's my rights. It's my freedom. You know, you can't make me, you can't, no you, what was that thing? You can't turn me, you can't make this into a norm and this and that. I was like, all right, bro, do, do as you please. Like, if you want to die, like, that's on you. 
I got no saying in that. Yeah. So that's Just like the, my part. That, that's why I really agree with what Jody's saying because we're talking about like literal lives being lost. Like, if this life and like death, bro. Blue or something minor that like oh you could like cough it away and you'll be good the next day. All right, no, and even true. then, the flu, bro, like, it could still kill people and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Right, but you know what I mean? Like, something... Not yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, we're talking about something that's killed, like, hundreds of thousands. Millions. Of Millions, bro. Millions. All over the world, bro. And so, you know, that's why it's a little bit scummy from her. But, like, you know, I can see what she's getting at of, like, the whole, like, living life thing. Because, to be fair, you're only going to experience college once, you know? So she's trying to, like... Hey, well, that's like, too bad. That's... No, 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 yeah, like, I understand. That. I'm also no, making no, compromises. Why can't she make compromises? Why? No, like, I understand. Everybody that, else is making compromises for everything, bro. There's a time and place for everything, and that is no. She is hello wrong right there. Like, no, no, no. None of this living life bullshit. Because I'm living life too, and I'm wearing a mask. You know, I'm doing all the precautions, bro. No, that's that's just dumb as hell. Like maybe that's if we dumb. all followed the rules, she can finally attend an actual frat party. Like, there's. Yeah junior year like whatever okay well okay well i think the the thing here to take from it is okay maybe it's not like so much on her but just her attitude because a lot of people have that attitude right now of like oh i'm so done with covid i'm tired of worrying about covid but it's like bro covid is not done with you right now but like, people like them like, that that's right. what's making all those yeah. all the numbers rise she, again yeah bro. Like, she's like contributing to that that mass attitude that a lot of people have. she but, is the problem we have to exterminate her but I agree. I can, dude, she's I also a woman. Damn, she's a woman. <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you gotta watch out. What? You no, yeah, I'm not gonna clarify. I will die on this hill. Dude, that, that's ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. You better get canceled. <laughs> okay, I'm, 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 I'm going down the, the hill. <laughs> Alright. Alright, can I, yeah. we move on to my little topic now? Yeah, and let me just say one more thing, like, um, I've also, like, wanted to, like, you know, live life, whatever, all of that, and, like, enjoy stuff, and sometimes I do, admittedly, like, but not to that extent, you know, like, sometimes I see, like, a friend or my girlfriend one-on-one, -on -one, you know, type of thing, which is technically still bad. That's, seeing that's still allowed, though, like, technically. Yeah, 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 I get you. So, you know, I'm obviously not doing crazy crap like that, but... I feel like I would be empathetic to her if this was like a one-time thing, you know, like if it was like, damn, like I got invited to this party, I'm probably never going to get invited to this one, and let me just, and on top of that, we don't know what the context, we don't know if they were all tested, if this was an ASU party, then they were probably all tested, and, bro, hold on, were... wait a minute, bro, yeah, ASU party, bro, we were, we were the third uh college with the most cases, bro, what, nah, yeah, what yeah. the hell is that? But, but in the you dorms, you tested. get tested every week. Every single week, if you live in the dorm, oh you yeah. Do you think they give a damn about the yeah, dorm? Yeah, like not you everyone, like... not everyone's from the dorms, bro. Like, but you don't know you that. They... You don't even know how many people were there. You know, I'm just saying we don't know the full story. Uh, nah, I think All I'm right. right. Yeah. I think I am right. Nah, right. yeah, no, nah, I'm yeah, I'm willing to. <laughs> and not don't like this to tone of voice, you are taking Fabian. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> looks like we have to exterminate <laughs> Fabian as well. He's part of the problem, bro. <laughs> Anyways, Luis, you wanna segue us into another topic before we get yes. some more? Okay, so mm -hmm. um recently no nah, not well, I guess not recently, but like it's been going on for a while now. Um why is the whole world so sensitive now? Damn well, I feel like we're gonna be walk I I am gonna be walking on next shows and that's okay because I'm not trying to be like those people that agree with everybody else. Like, we're supposed to have our own perspectives, ideals, you know, thoughts, whatever. I, you know, I think, real quick, like, let's just sum up what I'm going to say. Being too sensitive now is so, it's become, like, kind of like a trend, really. Like, trying to agree with everybody's, like, ideas, you know? Like, so whenever, like, remember when I got canceled? That one time. I like because how you keep I saying cancel, which is like two people. Oh, because I did. Like, people, 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 <laughs> people, you people, people got pissed. Yeah, so people got pissed. So back when uh, George Floyd and all okay, that whole this stuff is was going deep, on. So wrong. <laughs> so, there's, there's a better way to word it. Yeah, this is, this is bad. Anyways, <laughs> I'm about to get canceled again. So anyways, 
when the whole riots were going on, people were saying, oh, riots were bad, but, you know, the looting, obviously the looting, not good. Riots, to some extent, yes, protests, good. But I saw a post on Facebook, and it wasn't the most appropriate, so I just shared it on my Snapchat, right? But it wasn't my, it wasn't my words or anything, I just shared it on Snapchat. And one minute, I'm off my phone, the next, bro, people are screenshotting and reposting it. People are uh, DMing me, swiping up, talking about, oh, so you're a racist now. And, like, you know, I'm not racist at all. Like, I'm Mexican. Like, I literally got called a dirty Mexican okay, at work, like, last week. That's a fallacy week. right there. Just because you're Mexican doesn't mean that you can't be racist. Yeah, that's a huge... Oh, no, that's <laughs> yeah, my fault. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, I've been discriminated against, you know. Like I said, yeah, last week, last week, I got called a dirty Mexican. Um, This guy was yelling white power. The same guy that called him a dirty Mexican. You wanted to throw hands at work. But anyways. Being some you to too sensitive. Shower. No, no, bro. He he literally called me a dirty Mexican. Like, he, with, like, racial shit. Like, he was being racist, bro. Anyways, any hoodies. Too sensitive. Everybody's too sensitive. Can we agree on that? Like, everybody's uh, too, Like, jokes. I might have to... Okay, so would you... Okay, would you uh, say uh, that uh, I was? All right, look, 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 for example, look. Okay, wait, look let at me, my one up. of my old. All right, all right, go, go, go. Okay, so would you say that I was being sensitive, like about the whole like girl thing that hap- that I just talked about? No, but I think you're right. Because uh, like, I feel like yeah. you're just saying no, because um, because you like we're friends, but like. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm being straight up with you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm your friend. I'm not gonna tell you what you want to hear. I'm gonna tell you what's up. I think you were being a Karen, but I don't think that was being like, like sensitive and shit. No, no, no. You were just being a Karen. Yeah, like you were in somebody's not business, bro. That's like activism, bro. You're just trying to, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, literally yeah. fight for you, but what you believe in. I don't believe. But anyways, anything. okay. Well, anyway, obviously so, it was a little problematic, like the approach, but like. You're hey, still, like, doing what you believe. Yeah, you're willing to die on a hill. So that's not sensitive. This, yeah. that's, that's almost the opposite. Yeah. Anyways, mm-hmm. so, like, uh, an example, I guess. Like, you guys remember? I mean, why, why wouldn't you guys remember? Like, one of my favorite shows back in the day, like, South Park, Family Guy, American Guy, you know, those type of shows. Adult Swim. <laughs> where they would, where, huh? Adult Swim shows. Yeah, but they were not always on adults on. They were like on other shit. But anyways, that's a different topic. You know, they would say a lot of things, and they would do a lot of things that, in this day and age, bro, like they would be, though those shows wouldn't even, like those episodes, shows, they would not exist, bro, because of people nowadays, you know? Can like can we agree on that, that people are too sen- sensitive now? Like, I mean, even like companies now, they try to, um, I agree with everybody is saying like, um, like recently, I don't know, well, I don't know if you guys heard about it, uh, Rihanna's Fenty show or something like that. I don't remember that she included like uh models of all shapes and sizes, you know, which I think I saw that, which I think you know I think might we're... be wrong for saying Wait, this. Wait, oh my gosh, I don't like because I I actually I agreed with it. You agreed with that, okay, okay. Yeah. So like, hear me out, hear me out. All right, you know we're yeah, friends, so we can we we're adults. What is the fancy thing? Okay, so so Rihanna. Right, like, okay. Well, like, I think Lise, explain it? I think Lisa has like a better explanation. Okay, so pretty much, you know, models they you're know, like they're like athletic type, body type, you know, this and that. She was uh, what was she? She was dropping. I forgot like lingerie this. and like lingerie underwear. underwear. Underwear shit, guys, girls, you feel me? Anyways, she included, you know, big, big people, big people who you really wouldn't think were models, right? And I think to be inclusive, that that was like the key word when I read the article. Inclusivity. I think, right, doing that is wrong. Why? Right, hear me out, hear me out. Hear no, me out, right? this is... No, Let's hear me out, out right. Let's hear me out. Look, so... Being a model, right? Like before the this whole being inclusive, you gotta include everybody, bro. Like when I'm not saying you have to be like super skinny to be a model. No, no, no. Like 
if you're big like some of the people that I saw on you know on the Fenty show or whatever you ever you want to call it, bro, that's unhealthy. Like I get you're trying to be inclusive, I have but I mean if you you're right no, like if you're inclusive. Do you really have to say you're inclusive to be inclusive? It's like saying, oh, I'm funny. If you're funny, you don't have to say you're funny. People will just notice that you're funny, right? Like, I don't think including those people is a good thing because, like, because you're just trying to, like, make it seem good for everybody else. You're trying to, like, sell your product. You're just agreeing to the masses or whatever the, the saying is, you know? Like, to be a model back in the day, you had to be, like, pretty gotta be well for girls and guys well guys so you gotta be good looking gotta have that athletic body type and that's not bad like it's not trying to make people feel bad about themselves it's just you know like that's that's healthy that's the good thing bro because like i mean in sports right you guys do you guys like well i don't know if you guys ever play sports like that well i mean jordy yeah you have wrestling bro we can agree. You weren't the greatest, right? You weren't the greatest. Hey, bro, I was varsity in two weight classes, which you mean I was not the greatest. <laughs> you weren't, bro, remember all the stories you told me. You weren't the greatest, right? I'm not, I'm not bashing on you. I was a prodigy. But One more year and okay, I could have okay. ruled the world. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. I, you, you didn't have that experience, so I'll give you that. Anyways, in sports, bro, like, that's competitive shit right there. Sports. Like when you're playing tier one, you know, NBA, NBA, MLS, LAS, LAS, you know, soccer across the world. I wouldn't say MLS because MLS, don't get me wrong, they're kind of trash. But anyway, when you're going to be in that, like, do you really want to include everybody? Like, that's not well, good. No, like, that's. I have a, I have a counterpoint to this. Like, shit. All right, let's see. Since you brought up wrestling, there are heavier weight right. classes who are like 200 plus pounds. No, no, no. Okay, they, those are not bad, the most bad, fit bad. people. No, 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 my fault, my fault. I was trying, so, from what I was trying to say there, it's like, if you're not good, do you think, like, you're supposed to play, like, do you oh, think because... Wait, no. what? Like, I think you're, no, like... I kind of, I, I first, I, I disagreed with what Lise was saying, and I, I agreed with the... No, because he yeah. turned it into a completely different topic, because first he was no, talking no, I get, about... No, no, this no, all, no, 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 this no, all ties no. in with the whole sensitive, the whole world is sensitive, yeah. bro. Like, so I think okay, so I remember, say, okay, okay. I, I think what Luis is trying to say is like modeling in a sense is kind of like a competition, you know, like the best. It's a, yeah, it is because model, like the whole, the best hold on, my fault. I don't want to interrupt. Get put on like the forefront, you know, that's what you see that, that they're on the covers of the magazine, TV, there are commercials and it's the same with the best at athletes. You know, you always see Messi on the cover. You always see LeBron on the cover. You don't see like some garbage uh, soccer players on any cover because they're garbage and they're, they're bad at what they do and they're, what they do is their sport. So in a way, I think Luis is saying that that modeling is their sport, and if you are, you know, like it's a competition, bro. Like you shouldn't be. I think that I completely disagree with that. When they do things like that, I feel like they only do it to sell their products, because that's what, I mean, that's what really is going on, bro. Now today, it's like making money. Who, what company could make more money off of this and that? Like in sports. When it comes to that, bro, I feel like now participation trophies are like are like the big thing now. Like it doesn't even matter if you win like the like the tro the championship and shit. It's just oh, little Billy, as long as you tried your best, you know, like that's fine. No, 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 fuck that participation trophy, bro. You gotta like bust your ass out there. You feel me? Like I see because like, I, I agree like with that... you, like in that regard, like the whole sport thing, All right. but not the model uh -huh. thing. I think. Because I feel like you just touched on it and you just didn't. All right, hold on. Let me hear your counter because you said. Because first of all, those people were not morbidly obese. They were like, they were big bodied, but I wouldn't say they're like on the verge of dying. Like they were just like big bodied. No, I didn't call them morbidly obese. I didn't call them obese. Well, you said it was just a But you know, they are big. Yes, they are big. I'm not saying they're obese. But when it comes to that aspect, bro, because I mean, I mean, really, like beauty is like a subjective thing, right? No, nah, not everybody like wants to be like that. Not everybody is into that, you know. But anyways, that's a whole different topic too. 
I think when it comes to that, like, like the whole what was the thing called? Like for the the women thing, like the Miss Universe or something like that, right? Yeah. Miss World. Like they have they like they have to be beautiful women, right? They can't just be yeah. oh some ugly chick, right? Like those girls, maybe they didn't work their ass off for like any anything. You know, maybe they're just lying, but they have to be like good looking. They have to be in fit and this and that to be up there. Like, you really think they would like pick some big woman out in the street like that? Like, you know? But that's just like that's their platform, and like Rihanna chose to have these people model. Like, they they didn't take jobs away from anyone just because they're no, no, I know, but I'm not saying they're they're taking jobs from anyone. Because you made it sound like it was a competition and like only the best. It is a competition. Well, not really. Bro, when it comes to models and shit, like it's now it's it's not like that because they're trying to include everybody. They're trying to fit everybody in. When that's kind of like the participation trophy, participating trophy. Like, like back in the day, it wasn't like that. You had to be like, you know, you had to be good looking. You had to be fit and all that. Wait, what? Yeah. What? You said you had a counter point. Well, I'm just saying, like, it's modeling. Like, first of all, name like your favorite model. No, I mean I exactly. Don't yeah, I don't like know. anybody can technically be a model. Like, like no one, uh, no one has like Kylie a favorite Hadid. model. Gigi what? Hadid, Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner. Then uh, Kylie's not a model. She is. Oh, one of my favorite models. What's her name? Damn, I mm-hmm. forgot her name. No, no, no. Ah, damn. Then, Debbie uh, Rose, I think. But so. yeah, they have Debbie a Rose. they have a place in like certain niches, like you know, like so women aren't going to be looking at these uh, Kylie and be like, okay, like that's what I want, because like literally nobody can have that unless you have millions of dollars. And right, right. I don't know. I just feel like you're completely wrong about it. Because first of all, it was Rihanna's choice to have those people. I I feel like they only did that right to sell more, right? To sell because that's how it is nowadays. Oh, you're trying to sell more company. Give the whole like inclusive. I mean, it, uh, that, that's what it said in the thing. Because she also because she also had like like um like um models like. Oh my god, I don't I don't even know how to describe this body type, but like like they were like actual models, right? But they had like um what are those? Stretch marks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I don't know, like again, like it doesn't really matter how it you look like. See, but now it doesn't. What I'm trying to say is like oh, now I I it's like now they're trying to like include everybody so they don't offend nobody that doesn't mm-hmm. look like these models like bro like i mean but do you but do you lose like, anything by having these people included like no but that then why make it such a big deal so sensitive no everybody's so sensitive now that they try to include all these different types of people you're being so sensitive right now you're being sensitive right now for how because you're how literally it doesn't affect you if these people are included uh-huh. or not so you're being sensitive right, by oh, even no, making no, no, it hold on, a, hold on, hold on. How how is that girl partying affecting you? How does that affect you? Okay, so now you're against me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know because I said you were a Karen. I I was with you, but you were a Karen. But how does she affect you? But anyways, we're talking about this. Look, when I buy when I buy my boxers and shit, like when I go to Marshall, shout out Marshall's, we got some good shit there, good drip. Who texted me? Oh, okay. Anyways, um. Bro, when I see like the 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 models, the guys, bro, they got ripped abs, you know. They ain't got no bird chest like me. I like, I want. It makes me want to buy. I'd be like, yo, like I could be like this. Like, no, I never Ooh. buy something and say I can look yeah. like that. Yeah, that's. I could be yeah, like, I could be like that. Like, it makes me feel no, like. No. It makes me feel dope. Like, I'd be like, I, think, I could I be like the that. Point you should be making least is that. See, um, by saying that, I feel like whenever you see like someone, so when you buy something and you see that the model is like big body you kind of did get deterred from buying it then that's what i'm hearing no what no well yeah i mean no 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 i'm just <laughs> saying that's for me <laughs> no that's i'm just saying that for me 
But when I feel like they only did that just to not fan anybody who doesn't I, look like those models. Yeah, I think I think another point to consider is that like the difference between the standards for men and women in modeling. Because <clears throat> um, like, have you ever seen a guy model without abs or a guy model without like a, j- a chiseled jawline? But there were anything. Female models. Oh really? Yeah, she had one. She had a big bodied man, and like he wasn't even like big body. He was just. He was just large, I guess, you know, like. That's the thing I'm trying to say, like, maybe uh, my fault, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a confusing with my words. But I, what I'm trying to say is they're including all these people to not offend. I mean, what's wrong with including all these people, though? Yeah, that's true. I, I feel like. No, I feel like, um, I feel like I no I'm not saying there's nothing say wrong, but yeah. I'm just saying everybody's too sensitive now. Like, they have to include these people to make these people buy their product that because everybody's too sensitive or not it's because like oh well, i don't you know, think like, I, don't if think they don't... Putting, I don't think being sensitive and having that their like type body type represented makes them want to buy it more it's also just yeah. like very convenient because like again nobody has these perfect bodies so like let's say like like yeah. somebody who who is like is like a little on the heavy side they want to buy something but like the model's skinny as hell like they're not gonna like what they see in the picture, what they see the model wearing isn't how it's gonna look on them. Exactly, that's the thing. That's why they're by, too sensitive. That's why what? they include all that. I'm not saying there's anything no, that's wrong. Not they're, sensitivity. That's, that's literally that is. If and anything, it, it, just, it won't look the same on them as it will look on no, the model. No, so they're like, ah, that's not nah. because they're sensitive. That's not because they're sensitive. That's because oh, what is it? What they, is it? They, that's them looking at a product and being like, that's not what it's gonna look like on me, bro. That's it. Again, look, like, okay, 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 like, okay. So I'm a very like I'm five foot. I'm five two, by the way. I'm exposing myself. Yes, yes. There are there are like <laughs> no short models. So like whenever I'm buying something, there's these tall ass men wearing like these pants or like, you know, and like what I'm seeing is like what I'm seeing them wear isn't how it's gonna look on me because they're tall. You know, yeah. it's gonna look different for someone who's who's short. And that's not Jordy being sensitive. That's just him knowing that, like. No, I know, but there are the times when people are too sensitive. They're like, "Oh, that doesn't look like me. Why am I not? Like, why? Why am I? I feel like that's why she did it. Because nah, if you're inclusive, nah. if you're inclusive, it goes like with what I said. If you're funny, do you really have to tell everybody? Oh, I'm funny. No, no, no. You just gotta do it. You just gotta do it. Like, uh, who was it? I don't remember. It was one of the Kardashians. I don't remember who. They did something like well, that too, she did and they, it, right? She's doing it. She doing she included it. a lot of people, right? She included no. It just brought this to my attention because she did it too. She included a lot of people, you know, shapes, color, sizes, whatever, whatever. The Pepsi ad. What's that? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, but she didn't have to say, "Oh, I'm inclusive. I'm including all these people of all these shapes and sizes to to do that." No, 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 like. She just did it, and she didn't get all this attention. And Rihanna did it. Oh, I'm inclusive. I'm including all these people. You know, just she's just trying to agree with the masses, to not offend nobody that yeah. doesn't look like these models. Um, mm. um. Well, the thing is, like, I can see how that would maybe generate more money. You know, like if you see a body type that reflects boys, then you. Like yeah, nowadays, yeah, like fine. companies, like they're trying to agree with everybody, so nobody gets offended, so they make well, more yeah, money. That's a sort of business thing to do. Like, yeah, yeah, people, but like you're gonna reject money. Oh, like, all they have to do is put out an ad that like appeals to people, and then they get, like they don't really give a, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, well, it doesn't matter because I'm getting to see everybody's too insensitive. But yeah, like, I, I, wait, what? but it but it's not even like it hurts the consumer though. Yeah, the consumers, if anything, they benefit more because they get to see, like, an accurate reflection of what clothes and stuff looks like on someone that looks like. And then the companies get more money. I think it's a win-win. I don't think anyone thinks being sensitive. I, well, I think, yeah, because they're trying to, you know, <laughs> like this is make them... Sense, like, this is dead stupid. Oh, oh. Bro, since episode one, you've been on fat people, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I what i said on episode one actually i don't remember oh, what yeah, i said on episode did. one you saying, what was it oh you were saying like should it should fat people be models and no he was saying that. um shit what the fuck i don't remember saying that i think it was something about like i don't remember you, we did talk about 
not this, but like we did talk about like. I remember oh, touching. Was, I, remember, oh, I remember. It, it was it to was what point? Way. It was like at what point should it be like? Should he be like cast castrated for like being fat? What? Yeah. What? Like at what point is fat shaming? Like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, because a lot of people be like, oh, okay, you so. know, like. My body. This Seems like now. you're really dying oh, on this. Yeah, family. it's your body. You know, like I <laughs> can't do nothing about that. But that's wrong. You can't say, "Oh, you know, I'm so proud of my body." No, you're unhealthy. You got like, what was that? Ah, oh, damn! I really learned about this in biology and I forgot it. But you got like stuff in your blood that's unhealthy for you, bro. You can't be saying like, yeah. Oh, fuck, what was, I lost my chance. But you can't be saying, "Oh, I look good." You may look good for yourself. That's good, but like that's unhealthy. You can't be promoting shit like that because oh, yeah, that's a you're you're promoting. you're trying to agree with everybody else. That's unhealthy. That's unhealthy for you. That's unhealthy for everybody to be like that. <laughs> um, I think we we dug ourselves into a fat. No. Should we move on to something else? Okay, like, so Luis. Point, Luis? Yes. Okay, so I think Luis's modeling point that's just like a dead statement. I'm sorry, Luis, but I feel like you were going somewhere with the whole sports thing. Yeah. The model. Oh thing. yeah, I guess the sports thing. Oh yeah, so another thing, right? Another thing right? for the sports. So I saw this thing. Um. Uh, well, I mean, it's well, I mean, it's it's all over the world, I guess, but. Uh, it was well recently, you know, Lakers won. Shout out Lakers, the NBA Finals. Um, they yeah. were comparing LeBron and this uh this basketball player, this female basketball. She plays with the Lakers too, but like the you know the feminine, I guess. WNBA. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the name. And um, she gets paid. I don't remember how much she gets paid, but you know, LeBron millions of dollars. Yeah. And he won, they won the same amount of trophies, the finals, you know, rings, this and that. He ended up having, like, getting a, what was it, like a 300,000 bonus or somewhere around that, more around there. He ended up getting a 11,000 bonus for winning one of those champions or something like that. I don't, I don't remember the exact details. But uh, this one girl, right, she was like, see, this is what's wrong with, uh, Amer- no, not America. The world that uh, girls or women they don't they don't get paid enough like uh, men do, right? So, in my head, I'm like, I agree with you to some extent. Like, it depends. Like in sports, I can see why they're you're like an paid. Enter- like you're an entertainer, right? Yeah. The more you attract like people, yeah, the yeah. more money you're gonna make. Like, uh, if absolutely. like, don't get me wrong. Those some of those females, they're amazing. They're good. Uh, you know, they're a good athlete. They can beat me. Like, I, I couldn't even do anything about it. But they're but not if LeBron you, if, James, bro. They're not LeBron Yeah, if James. you're not... Well, here's the thing, though. Some of those females are way better than some of the guys, too. Like, the men. No, too. not all of them. Not all of them. I some feel of like, them, yeah. I feel like... But, I, but it, like, you're... you're, you're like, if you're not attracting yeah. all those yeah, people, all that whole popularity, how are you going to make that much money and ask for the same exact amount exactly, of money when you're yeah. not attracting the same yeah. numbers? LeBron at this point is a celebrity, pretty much. Like a lot of people, yeah, as a celeb more than a, a athlete. You know, a lot of people. Okay, I've said this know. before, and I'll say it again. Name your favorite WNBA player. Yeah, <laughs> and then another example: uh, the women's the, soccer team, national team. Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah, they, you know, uh, they, they, they won the World Cup. How many times? I don't even fucking know. They yeah. won it so many times. <laughs> And again, uh, they compared it to other countries in the world, like guys. So, like, yeah, they were like, "Oh, why do they get to get more?" Like, bro, a fifteen-year-old uh, club of guy soccer team beat the women's national team, and you're how do you expect to get all that popularity, all that money when you got beat by fifteen-year-olds? I don't know about that. Like, one, but... <laughs> yeah, like you can look it up. Yeah, um, I, I, I trust you because you're or... you're like into soccer. Like I don't, that. I don't. I don't know how much he lost or anything um, like that, but I know he did. Here's the thing: we should clarify that we are obviously for equal pay and equal rights for. Yeah, and like like I said, it depends on the con. Like if you're working yeah, in an office, office, if you're working the same guy, uh, same guy. What the hell? If you're working the if same job as a guy, 
should get paid the same. Obviously, way. Yeah. yeah. We're not saying that men and women should be paid differently. We're just saying that. Well, here's my point on this, right? Um, getting paid for the amount of eyes that you attract and the attention yeah. and the audience that you appeal to. So obviously, there's a larger audience for male sports than there is for female. And the thing is, a lot of people will see that as unfair. But if you take a look at other things that benefit women instead, like OnlyFans, you're not going to see a guy out selling a girl. On oh, OnlyFans. I think we should talk about that. Even though we're late, I think we should talk about the next podcast. Like yeah, that. That's a good yeah, like, conversation. Women have an ultimate advantage. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know, like there's it work. There's two sides of the coin. You know, like. You're either you, you just have to know what lane you're in, and obviously it sucks that like, you're born as whatever gender you were and can't really do much to you know. Like, if basketball is your passion and you're a female, like it sucks because you're not gonna get paid as much. But that's just the nature of the game, you know. Like unfortunately, that's how how many eyeballs are on the sport for you, and you know you, either you're passionate enough to pursue it or or you're not, you know. But it works both ways. There's a lot of things females benefit as well. And, uh, Obviously, it sucks that they can't be paid equally on all things. But at the same time, if you're there's like two YouTube channels and one gets millions of views and one gets a thousand, you're not going to be paying them equal wages. You know, there's different amounts of. That's like the whole part of the everybody sense that the whole participation trophies. Like everybody's like, oh yeah, like why why am I not getting all this when the other person is doing the exact same thing? Because you're not like you said, you're not bringing all that attention to you, all those eyes. Yeah. How are you going? How you expect to get all that? Yeah, I get it. I get that they're athletes, but but they they get paid based on the they're entertainers. They entertain everybody who watches yeah. it. And that's a risky job, like you know. Entertain going. Oh yeah, is is risky. You know, you, you never know if you're gonna get a stable income all the time. Yeah, one day you could be popping. One day your career could shatter, and you know. Yeah, and also another point, point like. I can't. I couldn't find the video. I was trying to look for it, but it was like this whole feministic, feministic, feminist <laughs> video, right? And and it was, it was like a bunch of ladies, you know, like you know, they were like uh, doing a bunch of stuff that like saying guys they could do the same thing as guys, right? And you know, girls, yeah, there's nothing wrong with these girls could do a lot of things that guys can. But there was this one clip, right? This lady was in the office with her um, with her boss. And uh, there's no like, there's no like, whoa, whoa, there's no like dialogue. They weren't talking. They weren't any. They weren't doing anything. But the uh, she got up. That like the whole like idea behind that scene was that she was asking why can't she get paid like more than him, or like the same as him. But she's just like some regular regular worker, and he's the boss of this company, right? And like towards the end of the scene. Hold on, what's going on? What the hell? Oh, it's just Jordy controlling the screen. I was, <laughs> I was checking if it was still recording because <laughs> watch it not be recording, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyways, towards the end of the scene, um, the lady, she gets up on the table and she um like kicks the coffee mug like the uh, the boss like he had like some coffee mug at him, and then that like the end because it, it was like a bunch of scenes, and the end it was like uh women's like equal rights or something like that and for me the problem in that scene is that he's the boss you're some regular worker how do you expect to get paid more just because you're a woman i feel like like feminists nowadays that they, they want more not the way, equal the rights way you said, more, like, the way you said woman sounded yeah, so hateful like bro <laughs> no no my fault my fault but like uh I don't think women want equal rights more. They want, like, they want more, like, uh, what's, what the fuck is the word? Like, they want to dictate everything. They, they want to be in charge of everything when it doesn't work like that. Um, Either, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that. Undeniable, like, uh, quality problem. A lot of countries because of wages and stuff. It's not like we're denying that. But you can't just expect to uh, be paid the same when you work different occupations. And, then, and obviously there are cases where, you know, you could be doing the same thing as that boss. Like you could be, a, you're, you're running in the same position to be a boss as some guy and you may not get it because you're a woman and that's fucked up. That, that's like a different case. But whenever you're, you're not, you know, 
your it's honor like, does the shit. So that's like discrimination, pretty much in its form. Like it's, I swear, people should just we should just view everything Ooh. like race and gender, everything like, with a curtain between us, and or like with a, uh, you know, be blind, just take your eyes out and see if the, someone's getting the job done, and you don't know what race they are, you don't know what uh what gender they are, and if they're getting the job done, you pay them however much you want to pay them. If they're not getting the job done, then you don't. But it doesn't matter. Like as long as they have the skills and as long as they bring whatever it is you're asking them to bring to the table, then they get the job. No reason to discriminate based on that. It sucks that we do have discrimination, you know, naturally. I think a lot of people I mean everybody naturally has prejudice, you know, like everybody makes judgments of people when you know. But uh oh, yeah. I think unveiling that and just covering your eyes from being blind to to the color to the race to the gender you know which i think we're actually making good progress did he cut out or was it just for me no i think it was for you interesting <sighs> for me it was working you've been anyway so let me see something everybody but it's too sensitive. Too sensitive. What's next? So we are barely in the halfway mark. I'm sorry. Oh, to okay, say okay. This. Actually, another, another. <laughs> we are the halfway mark. Yeah, it's been one hour. Why halfway? I mean, it doesn't oh, have to be two hours every time. I don't know. I feel like okay. it's been two hours, or at least like one hour and 58 minutes <laughs> every time. So, you know, might it's as well. We can just cut it whenever. Okay, time. actually, another, another thing I want to bring up. So. I guess it's kind of like with the whole sensitive topic, right? As you guys saw on my story, maybe. Well, Jordy, I don't know if you saw uh, Fabian. I bought some new shoes, the Odd Future, the Donut Bands. Anyways, um, I posted them. Sorry, not to show off or anything because I'm not that... Pr- I mean, I am cocky. Com- not cocky, confident in myself. Cocky. But I, no, I'm confident. Be humble too. If my confidence, like... You know, makes you insecure. Then, like, that's the whole different thing. I'm confident, not cocky. There's, there's a thin line between that, and I'm unconfident. Anyways, anyways, I bought these shoes, right? I've been wanting them for so long. Back when I, before I was working, now I was working. Now I am working, barely, shit, barely. I'm saying I'm not even working to be honest. But anyways, I bought them, right? They came in, I posted them, and a lot of people are like, "Oh my god, those are fire!" Like. Those are clean, bro. You know, like, Jordy was like, they look better than they did in the picture. I was like, I know, right? And then this one girl, right? She she slides up. I I never, like... Are I mean, we always right talking her, against like girls? Ago. Girls ain't shit. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this girl... Well, I mean, in this case, girl, bitches ain't shit, bro. She literally... I, she was like, she was, she was like you. She was the Karen in this situation. No, I feel like this is, she an, actual, this up. is an actual, like, mind She swipes business. up, and she's like, she swipes up, and she's like, hey, yo, so, like, why are you posting your shoes? And I was like, oh, because, like, they're really nice, you know, and I, like, I like them, so, you know, I was just, you know, I was just trying to post them. And she was like, oh, you're just, well, I, I, she wasn't screaming, but, you know, I was, you know, she was like, oh, but, like, why are you posting? You're just trying to show off, like, money that you don't have. You're just trying to, uh, what's the word? compensate for something else you know you know what she was trying to talk about like my pp size and i was like you should have told uh, her that like i was right. just no no, no. <laughs> she i don't know about you for bro. herself uh no <laughs> anyways um oh, shit. i was like I, I i read it and i was just like why like hey, what was the whole point of that like huh do you know her uh yeah, I, well I don't know her, but I know who she is. Like I don't know her. Like I never really talked with her, but I know who she is. Was this anyway. your first interaction? Yeah, like yeah, I guess you could call it like a first one. Cause we talk like so it's like, not your hi, first hello, interaction. That's it. it was just <laughs> that. It was just, just like, like a was. hi hello. <laughs> well, I guess I don't know. Anyway, second one, I don't know. We uh, we were talking right. Oh uh, well, hold on. I'm confused. I'm lost. I was like I was confused. Because, you know, like, who the fuck are you? Like, why are you saying that shit? Like, what money that I don't have? Like, clearly, if I could buy shoes that are that expensive, I mean, it hurts They're my not bank even account. expensive. We're like, yeah, yeah, they were. How much were they? Like, 200? 
Oh, wait. Um, yeah, because these these are not in stock anymore. The even, odd future. Yeah, even. But anyways, anyways, okay, let, let me let me tell that, you I'd, what I'd say it wasn't even that expensive. Yeah, compared to many other shoes. Yeah. But anyways, I was like, oh, I'm not trying to show off anything. Um, it's just like a milestone for me because I back then, you know, I couldn't afford the things that I could afford. I mean, I'm not saying I'm rich as hell. I'm not, but you know. I work now. I could afford things I couldn't afford back then. I could buy my own shit, you know. So it was just like a little milestone for me that I like. I would want. I want to appreciate. And she's like, "Oh no, but like that's unnecessary. Like you don't have to post stuff like that. Like, like why are you posting things like that? Like if that's your milestone, keep it to yourself." And then I went. You know, I could have. I guess I could have been the bigger person and just shut the fuck up and left. But I wanted to argue. I, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't had smoke in a minute. I just gotta take that back. Like that guy at work when he called me dirty, dirty Mexican. I wanted all. I wanted to run the fade, bro. I was like, I'm like, I was like, yo, like, why, wow, like, like, I don't know why you're talking to me. Like, like, if you're broke, just say you're broke. Like, I, I could afford my things. I'm not sure now. It's just like my milestone. Like. <laughs> No, she just swiped up and she swiped up on my story and she was like, I don't have, I I, uh, I blocked her because that shit made me mad. No reason, bro. Like, I'm not the one. I'm not the type to be like, to let something get, to get down because of that. Like, I don't give a fuck. That's just something. That shit was just dumb. But, like, what's the whole point of that? I, I'm just showing up. I'm not showing up. <laughs> I was about to say I'm showing up. I'm just, you know, I want to appreciate my milestone. Like, to other people, it's just shoes, but to me, it's just it's like a whole thing behind it. I couldn't afford these back then. I can now, and I'm grateful for it. And Shadi over here talking about, oh, you're compensating for something else. Shadi, like Jordy said, I'll show you what's goody. Like, that's unnecessary for you to swipe up and be little of my accomplishments. Like, if I ever see you posting something, it better be for the benefit of the whole world. You better be yeah, exactly. donating your money. You better be, you know... Go volunteering as some all that, bro. Yeah, like what? What even are you You're supposed to like? Business. What even are you supposed Wait, to like post on social media then? Uh, the the whole like, point of like of posting is just stuff that you like and that you want to post. How is someone gonna shame you for posting? Yeah, and then uh, I was just the whole night, and not the whole night, because it it didn't bother me like that. But I was just thinking like after that, like. What do you gain from that? Like, what exactly? Like, what in your mind told you? Oh, let me swipe up and fucking. I, I know what you get from it. Like, what do I gain from it? You if anything, it makes me feel day. better. Like, yeah, I get to. Yeah, like, she didn't ruin my day. I ruined her day. Attention, bro. Yeah, because, like, if anything, bro, like, there's no reason I to mean, be that problematic. I'm in her head living rent free, bro. For no reason. Like, not once that I was I showing off. I just post them. I literally said straight from Bosa Donuts, and Shadi said, "Oh, why you gotta post that, bro? It's my milestone. I like this shit. I'm not showing off anything. And if I were to show off, it wouldn't be that, because that's nothing compared to a bunch of other expensive shit that's, you know, in the market. You know, but yeah, I just market, I brought like something." <laughs> On my, my room, bro. Compared to the, the things I got on my wrist, bro. Bro, my <laughs> on the market. Oh yeah, because I I mean I could I I can afford things I couldn't afford back then, but it's nothing too crazy, you know. Just like yeah, she's tripping, bro. You do. You I got it. Keep, keep I can afford shoes I couldn't afford, like shit. Two eighty on some shoes I couldn't afford that shit back then, bro. Back in the day, a motherfucker was work uh was rocking them shoes from Ross, and there's nothing wrong with that. I love those shoes, but it's like a milestone for me. Exactly. And she gotta like belittle my shit, like bro. I'll my shit on you, bro. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with Ross. I used to rock Ross, and people used to laugh at me, bro. People used to laugh at me. I still be rocking Ross, bro. Bro, I love. You know which one I love going to? Uh, fuck, it's it's far from here. Uh, TJ Maxx. It's like Marshalls, but like better. I think it's just fire there, bro. It's just straight fire. You go, not all the time. You can always find shit there, but you can find some dope shit there. Anyways, yeah, bitches ain't shit. What do you gain from that? From trying to ruin somebody's day for their little accomplishments. 
Any hoosies. What do we got to say now? What do we have to say now? <laughs> Damien said, beer being, I'm a P-L-M-A-O. Oh, he left. Yeah, he's going he gonna to be back. He muted himself. Wait, um, so was he actually going to go pee? Did he, did he actually say that? Yeah, he put it in the group chat. Oh, I he can't see the group team. chat. I... Oh, on Snapchat. Oh, Snapchat? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, I mean, you can't access the chat when you're in the call and shit? Like the Discord chat. Oh. Because then I'm going to have to open the chat and they can see all their stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I can open the Discord chat on my phone. Anyways. Well, yeah. What? Yeah, this podcast was a little all over the place. No count. It, it was, indeed. Yeah. It was... You know, my fault. My little argument in the beginning. I, I just couldn't uh get my words out there fully. So, my fault on my part. Okay. My fault for being a Karen, too. <laughs> um... Uh... We can all be current. Have you pre-ordered the PS5, Luis? Have you secured the bag? No, fuck no. No. Uh, they put it. I they they did a second wave. Not here though. Somewhere else. But yeah, no. Um, I I couldn't get it. I'm gonna get it when it comes out. Hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get it right now. Mm-mm. I'm. I mean, it's what like literally like three, four weeks away. Three weeks, right? That is. It comes. Oh yeah, it comes out November. One, two, three. Yeah, three weeks away. Like, I'll just, I mean, yeah, I could wait so a couple. Soon. I mean, I have to be. I like. I that has to be there at the store. I buy that shit. You're waiting in line. I might have to for the PS Five because it comes out the 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 what what day is it? The twelfth. That's a that's a young Thursday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't have class until nine in the morning. So I could probably pull up to, I don't know, GameStop or Walmart or whatever. I don't know. I feel like Walmart is going to be a complete fucking mess. <laughs> so I could just pull up to a, sure. a, like GameStop and, you know, just be in line and say, fuck it. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, then that's a complete waste of fucking time. I don't be mad. Did you but, see the cases? The cases. They're like third party cases. But like it's a case. Oh, like, like the box where it comes in? No, like. You put, like, a case on your PS4, but it changes the color. That was kind of dumb. No, like, you put a case on the white part, so, like, so you can technically have, yeah, like... Yeah, a, yeah, Like, it looks, it actually looks good, though. Like, it looks decent. Like, I can oh, send you a picture. I can send you a picture. Oh, no. Hold up. Let me look for it. Um. Oh, I see them. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. I wouldn't buy that to be honest. Why? Because oh, I just I don't know. I just wouldn't buy it. Oh, like they have like cases for the phone, like the or not the phone, sorry, the controllers, like the like they're like rubber cases or whatever. Nah, I feel like that's kind of like a waste of money, right there. Because then bitches is gonna break regardless. Don't they do like group chat on Discord? Oh, can I fucking access it? Oh, I can't access it. What the hell? That is. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but. They're only $40. That's, That's pretty cool. How much? 40 Oh, fuck, man. They're oh, cool, don't get me wrong, but. Yeah, I just. I don't. You know, I wouldn't buy that. It's not like I'm going to be like. Moving and shit around so much that you know I could possibly. Are you, are you gonna get the PS5, Jordy? No. No. Nope. Man's gonna build his PC. Yeah, I'm saving up for the PC. Didn't they? Uh, that one thing you were waiting for, that one driver, the what graphic was, what card. Was yeah, and then like people, I think they, I don't, I remember, I'm, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but. They like hacked that shit or whatever, and they got like more pre orders. Multiple, like, people got multiple orders when it was like one per person. Yeah, and they got like, like hella orders. They sold shit. out already. Like, crazy. Yeah, that's that's what happened with the PS5 and the Xbox One. Is that what it's called? Xbox One? Yeah. Xbox X? Xbox Series X. Yeah, that's a, that's a mouthful. 
the garbage Xbox thing. Series X. You guys want to play Xbox Series X? Oh, fuck that. I mean, are you excited uh, for any games? Uh, for me? Oh, Spider-Man. The one thing I do not like, you have to pay, well, you don't have, because it's uh, backwards compatible, like the PS4 one, but to get, like, the upgraded version, like, the updated version, you have to pay, like, what was it, like, $20 more? I'm not about to do that Mm-mm. But anyways, uh, the ones um, high for Spider Man, Ratchet and Clank. I mean, isn't like Spider Man say... isn't Spider Man like forty dollars though? It's fifty dollars, but then if you want to get like the bundle that comes with the PS4 one and that one, it's the same thing. But it's just Spider Man looks different, the graphics look different, so I'm not about to spend twenty dollars more for that shit. So the Spider Man, Ratchet and Clank. I love me some Ratchet and Clank. No cap. Dead ass. Yeah, bro. Right. Have you ever played those? Yeah, Any of you played I those? I played the demos because I was broke. Bro, that was so <laughs> good. I love that. Bro, Ratchet and Clank. On the PSP, that was the first time I ever played that, that shit. Slab, bro. Game, and then I had like, see, I had like three on the PlayStation 3. I don't know. Point is, those games slap. Um, because my parents would buy me the console, people. right? Like oh, they man. would never, they would never buy me games because they considered it a waste of money. It's like, bro, like why would you what the buy fuck? a console then? <laughs> what the fuck? But like I did as like they bought me a PS2. That boy never had any games because they just refused to buy me games for it. Uh, I would always save up my money. It would take so long to save up money for a game, but I would get it. Anyways, FIFA. Uh, well, I mean it's pretty much the same thing as always, but I want to play it again. Uh, I was going to say COD, but low-key COD, I don't play that shit no more. That, again, we've spent so much fucking money on it, but it's just, it's not, with all the things they do to it, like all the cheating and the nerfs and bugs, that game went to complete shit. Have you seen the beta, like beta gameplay for... Oh, I, I did the beta. I played the alpha. The, I didn't play the beta. That's brother snipers. What the fuck is up with that? That game looks awful. It's fucking awful, bro. I mean, I know it's just the beta. That's just fucking. Also, trash. is it mirror like? Do the guns literally do no damage? Bro, oh my god! And this game, bro, and Modern Warfare, the the snipers are OP, and in this one, bro, they're pea shooters. A shot to the chest, point blank, can't kill you. That doesn't make sense. Nah, I feel like the graphics just went fucking trash. Yeah. Like, it just looks off. The guns, great downgrade. I mean, I get it. It's like based in the past or whatever. Which I think Black Ops, that game is fucking dead. Like, out of all Call of Duties, that game is dead. They keep on making more and more. That shit, no. That shit does not make sense. Like, that, that the Black Ops, that storyline, it's in between Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Which is stupid. That should not make sense. Just don't make no more of those Black Ops. Just don't make no more Call of Duty. Nobody <laughs> play. Oh, well, a lot of people play that shit. I don't really play, play like. I played like like literally a couple hours ago. But oh, so, so you played the new mode? Yeah. Is it fun? I like that. I haven't actually. It's, it's scary. That shit kind of scary. Not gonna lie. The fucking uh, what do you call? What they 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 scare you? The pop up scares or whatever. That feels kind of scary. I but. just heard that was a new mode, but like I don't like don't know what it is. Yeah, no. Hold on, what the fuck? There's like two chats and shit. Pussy lips one, and then plebeian two. <laughs> the fuck is that? Majority of it. The pussy lips. I did, did I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, bro. The roll above that? you guys. I cannot. Stand being with the plebeians. I made a new role that has more power Can I than make yours. My own role? I think so. Unless I took that power away from you. You were you. I don't know, you, better, <laughs> you were you able to do it before, back. but like I made the I made different roles now. I think I took <laughs> some power away from you guys. I don't know. <laughs> this Discord is an anarchy, bro. God damn. Bro, that's a democracy. Unless bro, you we need a communistic fucking Discord. I'll probably be a pussy lips too. <laughs> I can make you one. I don't know about Fabian. Put me. 
Can I do Wait. it right now? Uh, probably not, because you have to show Did I do Wait, it? how do I do it? Rolls right here. Plebeian. Fuck a plebeian. I don't know. It doesn't know. let me. Do oh, I guess I'm stuck as a plebeian now. I'm not no plebeian. I don't know. What the fuck is that? I thought you were trying to mix, like... Oh. I'm not poor. I'm about to show off my shoes. I get that one girl to swipe up again. It's ruin my day. Baby, how have you been since your pee break? I'm chilling, bro. I don't really know much about the new games and stuff coming out, so that's why I'm a little quiet. That's disgusting. Because you've been keeping what up with Overwatch, doing? too. That's literally the only game you follow. <laughs> with. He's been too busy with this girl. <laughs> What the y'all just brought up two different things. <laughs> Do you want to talk about your yeah. your new job? Amazon. Oh. Wait, you don't work at Amazon no more? I do, I do, I do. Oh, you do. But I got a second job because I am so confident dropping out of this goddamn school. So I'm already starting to rack up the money and save up for being independent. So anyway. Guess who's officially a Postmate driver, right, your boy? Oh, so you um, still working out? Damn, that's your side hustle. Yeah, yeah, because, I mean, Postmates is just whenever you whenever you want, whenever you can. Oh, yeah, whenever you can. Bro, I'm about to pull a, pull a weekend, bro, and start knocking motherfuckers out, steal your shoes, and sell them. What the? <laughs> that's not what I'm doing, bro. That's what I'm going to do. That motherfucker made bang. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dude, it's crazy. You can finesse it so easily, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty decent money. It's not amazing or anything, but it's nice to get more money because, especially like a lot of my weekends, I spend doing nothing anyway. So I might as well be gay. Yeah, don't you get paid like with tips, right, or something like that? Yeah. How does so, that work? So, because sometimes they could be like, "No, I don't want to give you a tip," and sometimes they give you like barely yeah, anything, right? Exactly. So the problem is, like, I've been experiencing. I've only done eight deliveries. I just barely started, but I already have already noticed that like some people don't tip, and that makes yeah. it incredibly not worth it because the money that Postmates gives you for the delivery is pretty much nothing. But you get like pretty much yeah. four dollars for delivery, and each delivery, bro, it'd be taking me like an hour sometimes. Yeah, like, an hour. I mean gas, like, bro, like, and all that shit. Yeah, it's not yeah. worth it. But it's, when you do get a tip, it's so nice because. The minimum is like a still a pretty high amount. It's like ten percent, which is pretty good. That's like I don't know, like three dollars. Three dollars. But I've gotten I've gotten two out of my eight deliveries. I've got I've received a uh, two twelve dollar tip. Oh, dollar tips, bro. Like love this. But then I got That's like good. zero tips back to. I don't. I don't know when I get like Uber Eats. I don't know if I. I, I don't know if this is cheap. But I always give them like. When when it's like a five dollar tip, like somewhere around the line, because yeah, like I feel bad for not giving them a tip, because like that's yeah. kind of yeah. Thing. I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum. If I can avoid giving a tip, I will avoid <laughs> giving a tip. That's so bad, dude. These people make that's their income out. off of tips. That's like going not all of them. Obviously, not all of them, but most of them. Yeah, that, that sucks. That it's all sucks. of them because you don't make any money from the actual app. Like the real money comes from the tip. It is what it is. <laughs> No, you fucked up. <laughs> You're a plebeian. Put me and plebeian up there. No, no. no. Only plebeians <laughs> support other plebeians. Bro, you're like you're like the type like if we were to go out to a restaurant, you're the type to like leave a mess on the table and be like, no, no tip for you and shit. This by all how yeah, like, nice they are, huh? <laughs> you plebeian. I do be tipping. And that's the thing too. Like you're supposed to be like a really helpful postmate. And like text the the customer like how close you are and like where you. Some of them are. don't like that though. Yeah, exactly. Oh. That's why I <laughs> bro, one time I I was like I ordered something, bro. They kept on calling me. They kept on calling me, bro. I was like, don't call me no more. I get it. You're on your way. Stop calling me. Yeah, exactly. So I, I don't do it at all. I just do like the bare minimum. Like I pick it up and I take it to them, and I say, have a good day. Like pretty have much. Have a good one. Country. Put your mask on. Obviously, yeah. Oh, yeah, some guy gave me a big tip for wearing my mask. He was, like, in this, like, liberal neighborhood where they're, like, super Democrat. And I was wearing my mask up, and he's like, oh, wow, bonus points for the mask, my friend. And I was like, okay, thank you. And he gave me $12. Oh. 
Hey, hey bro, next time wear two t- two masks. Shit. <laughs> bro, just double the profit. Twelve dollars per mask, bro. Hey, that nah, that's a, that's a that's a steal right there. Yeah. Must be cheap. Long time, long time. It's Good nice, pants. dude. Cause I just like driving. I just love driving that. Car. And, and I don't know, man. Like, I like my car, but driving sometimes, ah, shit, it could be a pain in the ass. And, like, it depends yeah. where I'm going. Like, if I'm going, like, if my parents be like, hey, yo, go to the store and pick this shit up, like, I'm like, fuck, why do I gotta learn? Why do I have to know how to drive? Like, I don't wanna yeah, go. I feel you, but when bro, I'm like... going, like, when I'm going somewhere that I like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I fucking love to drive. This shit's fire. I feel you, bro. That scooter. It'd be a hassle to park that scooter <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Bro, we're just, <laughs> bro, weren't you going like nine miles per hour when we went to Tempe and shit? Yeah. <laughs> bro, they didn't know these shit. Oh my god. I go so 20 funny. miles now. I won't underestimate me. Is it expensive over there? Or is it the same shit? I just low key, it's more expensive. Because I'd be riding it for like five minutes and it charges me like $12. And I, I'm pretty sure like when god we were. Oh, damn. When when, we were, bro, we were on that shit for like an at hour, least thirty minutes, yeah. or yeah, and then it was like, well, it was like fifteen dollars or something. Yeah, it's literally charging. It was like seventeen. Me. It charges me. Dude, that's insane. Cause you, bro, that's not even like what you would pay for gas. Cause it charges you should me. Buy your own. It takes me five minutes to get there, and it charges me seven dollars. Oh, low key, you should probably invest in you buying like one of your gas. own. Yeah, they're they're a little pricey, but I mean, in the long run, is way cheaper than spending all that money all the time. I mean, the I thing is, there. I would do it, but like, it's literally about to start snowing, so I won't even be able to ride. Oh it, so yeah, no point. bro, how are you gonna do that walking? I mean, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna walk all the time. Yeah. but like, it's gonna be cold, bro. You you got cold, cold clothes over there. No winter clothes. No, it's, bro, that shit. <laughs> Bro, what are you gonna do? Like, are you gonna just like hibernate or something? Cause you can't even go out to go get food, right there. I'm not hibernate, bro. I'm I'm serious. <laughs> I'm not going out, bro. I am not gonna let yeah, one single yeah. particle of snow touch my skin. Low key, bro. I kind of I kind of want it to be cold here already. I don't know. I just I want it to be cold here. It already is, dude. Like in the it's morning. not that. No, no. I mean, I mean, it's it's getting cooler, but it's not cold, cold like. How it usually is. I mean, it, it it gets nothing like over there in Chicago, but I want it to be cold. It is currently. Let's see, let it update. Forty three degrees. Uh, isn't that how it gets? Forty three. Oh, bro, isn't that like the lowest it gets? Just like around that. Oh hell no. Um, and that's nothing. And that's nothing, bro. That's insane, bro. Like we we don't. I mean, we live far, but we don't live that far. Like no, but it's like the the what do you call it? Like the the high elevation and all that bullshit. So we are in a valley, a desert. Makes sense. That gets hot too. Bro, I'm you just know waiting for one day to wake up. I'm like, I see that my whole window is covered in snow. <laughs> That's, oh, that's kind of scary, bro. Actually, that's right. kind of scary. I'd be scared as fuck, bro. God really like, decided not. to come all over my my window. Okay. Oh, oh no. I don't, okay, I'm not agree. I'm not dying on, on that hill with you. Uh uh-uh. uh Because of that shit. No. I just want to be cold here now. You guys have a topic. Not really. I, think I, I have a topic. I Oh, quick uh, little a quickie. Let's see. Quick. Okay, ever since I've moved here. Okay, so hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically. You know. Let's say you guys were in my shoes. Or maybe Fabian. I feel like Fabian might be able to be able to relate here. Not even relate, but just oh. he fits the description more. Uh-huh. Hypothetically speaking, let's say Fabian switches spots with me, right? And he was the one moving out of state. Wherever he wanted to go, you know, like Paris or England, where, wherever you wanted to go, Fabian. Let's go to Paris. You know what? Go to Paris. You're going to Paris, the city of love. Right. Go to Paris. The city of love, Fabian. Mm-hmm. And that was Italy. You have a, a relationship going on, Fabian. <laughs> Italy is a fucking country, stupid. 
<laughs> so, would he end the relationship? Hypothetically oh, speaking. Oh, shit. Not gonna lie. Uh, okay, like, can I just put my little, like, dip my toe in the water real quick? I would, because long distance. Let's be realistic here. I, you could be texting every day, but it's just not the same. It's just, it's just not the same. I wouldn't. I'd be like, hey, yo, sorry, but this shit not going to work out. Damn. That sounds so fucked up, but I mean, I was... I'm going to be completely honest. I'm a, like, from, I'm just going to say what's coming to me. Um, I think I would stay in a relationship. But, I feel but like... you would cheat, of course. No, no, no. God. You plebeian. <laughs> No, but I feel like eventually, like, like for like months and months of not seeing each other, eventually we're probably like both gonna realize, like, hey, like it's kind of not the best right now. Like we literally see each other like maybe once a year. Let's be there and take a break. And let's be honest, you crave that that like, you crave that like contact, physical contact. It's not the same yeah, as just course. texting every day. Like Are you, you wanna you hand, wanna break her back? Are you saying that your hand is not doing? enough <laughs> it's not even like that bro it's just like just like seeing each other and spending time when you're in a relationship right like you you crave that contact like it's more than just talking but uh i mean honestly like i'm i'm too young to be like committed you know what i mean like if wow. we're in a whole that's different country like i feel like eventually i'm gonna be like hey like too young to well not even a whole country let's just say another state then Okay. Uh, no, I, even still, like, I, I would say... That, like, that's yeah. still a long way to go, bro. Because yeah, are you willing to drive, like, five plus probably hours would, to go? Probably would drive. <laughs> but, but, like, how would, often, though? Like, how often? Yeah, like? I, I would try, but I, I, I'm i just saying, like, I think it would probably lead to that. But, like, right now, yeah. my instinct is, yes, I would stay. Interesting. And well, we're not, we're not in your shoes. Right? You we're not in a relationship like you. If so we're, obviously if, your thoughts. If, you're trying, if we're trying the long distance thing and it and it works and we're like better than ever with the long distance thing, then great, you know, we keep doing it. If we hit it off off distance, <laughs> well, then great. But I feel like like long distance never. Not gonna lie, I feel like the whole enemy would just take over and just be like, oh, <laughs> you would cheat. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be fucking some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked up but i would eventually like i would eventually say something like hey yo this thing is this ain't the blue chief okay because because i have some people like on instagram like go to my school right and, like i added them before we even like went to the school like before we even moved right all right like some of these people were in relationships and there's two directions you can go here because now that we're in school there's one branch of people who their their other partner is just rich enough that they can legit just fly over here and visit them <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not even lying bro it's just, i've seen this <laughs> wow. they don't have drip over there that's what i noticed like some girl posted that her boyfriend legit just came to visit her over the weekend that's crazy. Must be nice. Low key. Man, really got a plane ticket and flew all the way to Chicago from California. Oh god damn. damn. If I'm being completely honest, bro, like I kind of to like what, what Fabian said. We're too young to be committed. Don't get me wrong. I would I would like I would love to be in a relationship, but at the same time, if it's like all that interfering with like what I'm trying to do, like my goals, then most likely I'd be like, hey, yo, this ain't the move shot. Like goals, like, bro, like, you're young. You got to experience, like, dating other people, too, you know? Like, yeah. you never know. Like, you might be dating someone and, like, bro, like, it, it might just be a high school relationship. Just be like, you're tripping over. And, but there's someone out there waiting for you that you're mm-hmm. limiting yourself from meeting because you're taking it seriously at such a young age. But your brain is still, like, growing. You don't even know what you want. Mm-hmm. Oh, favorite, real quick, just because it came to mind. Monday, 6 a.m. Wake up before 6 a.m., at least 10 minutes before. You have to uh, you have to get your classes for next semester. Just a reminder, oh, if, you didn't, I, if you didn't know. 
I'm not going to ASU, bro. Oh, You're yeah, not? we're going to talk about this, too. Hold on, I'm not, what? I'm not playing, bro. That ass. What I'm happened? That's serious. You know, Fabian... Me and Fabian were talking, and we were like, it's not fair to our viewers to, to lie to them and say that we're dropouts. So it's only fair that one of us drops out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Fabian, Fabian took it upon himself to take it for, the, it team. for the team. He took it for the team. <laughs> Man, the myth, the legend, bro. The what the fuck? <laughs> Why? I, it's always been my, my calling, you know, the dropout. Like, <laughs> I was playing. Dude, what um, are you going to do? But yeah, seriously, why? Play, okay, so um, it's my freshman year, first semester, and I'm already struggling this bad. So can you imagine me doing... Are you taking semesters? like a gap year? Are you waiting a little bit or no? Or just maybe, completely drop? Maybe not. Okay, well, if I'm being honest, the plan is to drop. And uh, for <laughs> business, I just like business you know i just want to i just want to become an entrepreneur and, and do whatever inspires me right now school is not inspiring and it never will it never yeah. has. so right. i can't dedicate myself to something that's so unmotivating and so unrewarding because every time i'm working and every time i'm like getting a side hustle or just like selling or creating like just creating anything dude i, I love like being a creator you know yeah it, it make it feel so rewarding it's like instant dopamine you just feel so powerful and you feel so happy with yourself. And school is the complete opposite. Like, they, they start you off with, with like, 100% grade, right? And all oh. the, the only place you can go from that 100 is down. It's so unrewarding and it feels terrible. And it's not even just because of that. But, like, you know, it's also not a smart investment because why am I paying all this money when it could be something else? Bro, tell me about it, bro. Like, when you're an entrepreneur, you don't start at 100 and go down. You start at zero, and you can track your progress as you're slowly climbing. You're kind of spitting, though. So, you know, I'd rather start from the ground, even if I have to be at my lowest low and build up on my own, than start all the way up and only see me fall down slowly, you know? So, you know. As I your friend, I would help your business. No cap. Thank you, bro. That means a lot, bro. Damn. So, you know, I'm going to. What's well, serious about the barbershop stuff? I'm gonna oh, yeah. Go for sure. Oh, actually, I asked my barber, like, well, what, what, like, what, what's up with that? And he was like, if you want to open one, like, it's kind of better if you would go to, like, the actual barber school, you know, like, the what do you call it, cosmetology school? Because they not only teach you how to cut hair, but they teach you how to run your own um, yeah. barbershop and shit. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to drop out. I'm going to go to a, a trade school for cutting hair specifically. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna learn to cut my hair and get my license, and then I'm thinking of just like cutting hair, like as a side hustle, while I'm while I'm going to school for it. Like maybe buy a chair and buy like the machinas, the the machines and stuff. The clippers, like, yeah. Opening. Yeah, yeah, and like putting the chair in my garage, and then just like like uh expanding my clientele and just like getting people in the neighborhood to know about me, and then they tell their friends, and then I'll like get my friends, and I'll cut you guys for free. And just you just like put, put me on your Snapchat story or something, and you know just like start cutting hair in my garage, or something. and then like actually no no no, I wouldn't let you do it for free. I'm not gonna lie, I would pay you because like oh okay that's real. Like, you, I like, do you, my you taking, like you taking <laughs> um the day I, you too the day I decide to get a haircut, Fabian's gonna be the one who's gonna cut the hair. <laughs> Yo, what do you do? Cut too bad, bro. Right? Makes you bald. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go bald. Bro, watch me. I've said this on 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 record now. So like, watch them like a year from now. I'm just like homeless. I'm like, damn. Like, I, I, just really <laughs> <need to. laughs> I do have a question for you though. Hit me. What does your mom have to say all about all of this? You know, that's actually the question that everyone asks me. It's weird because I've told a bunch of people, and they always ask that, and everyone's always surprised by my answer. That um, he fully supports me. Okay, good. Because. You I feel like that's good it. because, like, if women, you have to do what makes you happy. If you're not happy in school, then, like... Yeah, and that's what that's what I love that she's open to, like, recognizes that. But my mom is, like, really understanding, you know? Like, she's really... Young. But, like, you just have to be responsible with everything exactly. that you do because, like... And on it's... top of that, dude, it's not like I'm giving up on school completely because I just want to... No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm probably going to go back and get, like, a business degree just so I could open up, like, an actual business, like, and stuff, like professional for real for real. Now, you don't even need like to do all that shit you could just do it by yourself 
Yeah, you don't do all that stuff. Business degree helps with like just getting yourself oh, yeah. opportunities and stuff like that. You know, I just want to say I got the degree pretty much. But uh, yeah, yeah, my mom's just been helpful. She said she she just likes to see that I'm like actually like I have a plan. You know, whereas when I was doing school, I I didn't have a plan. I had any foresight. I didn't know what was coming. I was just like going with the flow. Now I, I'm like looking to the future, like years and investing in plans and everything. So just glad. Something, you know? yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you with the whole school. $15,000. Bro, so we were talking in my class, my CHS class. Well, for my majors, medical studies, right? I'm trying to get into med school, graduate school, grad school, whatever the fuck. Man, I've learned how expensive it is to get. I have to pay for that shit out of pocket to take the test. The test alone is like the like to get into med school. It's like the MCAT is like around three hundred dollars, a little bit more. To get things to study for, it's like almost a thousand to study. To to get the to take the test and to get the things to study for, and then you have to be accepted. You have to get if you don't pass the test, you have to pay for it again. And uh, my teacher, she was my IA because it's taught by an IA. She was like some of the people that take it, they don't pass it and they pay again and again and again and again and they never pass it and that's because well i guess they just don't study for it but yeah that's a low key comic kind of scared for the future because the one i'm trying to get into it's it's called med mid western uh university so it's oh. just a bunch it's just a med school and like they have like well just about everything but for me it's dental i want to be an orthodontist so i have to like start shadowing and start like doing all that where I get my braces done and even after do that shit as much as I can and I pay that. a lot of money I uh, I could never be like a STEM field student bro because they, they literally did have to start in high school I'm just being honest yeah if you don't no take, well it depends well, the, uh, yeah if you don't take certain classes like for example like like if you're not taking calculus in high school you're already behind when you go into college like right now, well, for me, I have to take. Well, the ones I have to, well to get into med school, you don't necessarily need to take like all sciences, but you just need two biologies and two types of biologies, two types of chemistries, and then a higher level math, which is not college algebra. That's the thing I'm in right now. Um, but it just for me, so I have to take four years. I have to get. All sciences, pretty much after the after sophomore year, pretty much focus on that, and I would take anatomy too, twice, and all that stuff. That that's tough. pretty much what I'm gonna do. And bro, I was checking the prices to get into that school. It's expensive. It's none of the six k per semester or like for tuition, like here at ASU. It's a lot more, bro. I like I have scholarships to... though. No, there's scholarships. Yeah, I'm not saying there isn't, but I it's a lot of work. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm about to take out student loans and just not be broke and pay that shit off slowly. For sure. Um, well my peers here know what they want to do with their future. I don't. That's Without fine, you. dude. You're a freshman. That's fine. You're you're a freshman. Dude, me and Luis will probably like change up what we want to do throughout the course of like whole life. Low key. Uh, for me, school is plan B. Plan yeah, A. It's just soccer. embarrassing, honestly. Whenever I talk wow. to people, they make us introduce what we want to do, like our major, and I'm like, I don't know what oh, to do. Yeah. Oh, no, bro. Like, no, don't even feel bad for us. So there are guys. There's like, people out here who are like, oh, I want to do like a, a major in chemistry and like double major on like math or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I, I don't bro, know. We're what talking to... about double majors. And, and I'm like, I don't know what I want to do, honestly. <laughs> Like, I'm just being No, nah, that's nothing like, hey, you're, like, that's what, you're a freshman. Yeah, but you're it's good. embarrassing when you're the only one. No. Oh, you're the only one? Oh, yeah. shit. Nah, and my, well, for me, like, well, in my class, my CHS class, I'm, like, I'm not the, like, more advanced or whatever, but I, I, I guess I know a little bit more because I've been looking into it and whatnot. But there are people that literally just said, oh, I just came here just because, like, to, to medical, like, 
Because downtown, that's like all like the science shit, like all the medical type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, I just came here just because. That's embarrassing. Like, that's actually embarrassing. You just came here just because, like, that shit's like paying thousands of dollars. Not your money, your parents' money. Just to come here and fuck around. Like, that's just like, that don't sit right with me. They they might have got scholars. But uh, I feel you, Jordy, because in my class, uh, which I don't even remember, but we had this class that they were like telling me we had to like introduce ourselves and talk about majors and stuff. My major is literally un- is a uh, exploratory. It's the undecided one. So everyone was like telling their. Why don't you do the business one? Well, it's because I know, didn't know what I wanted to be at the start of the semester, and they kept asking me. You like, you can change it, right? You know you can change it for next semester. No, you talk, you get the classes, <laughs> but you can still do it though. Wait, did you? Is it like did you already talk to the advisors and everything? What? To drop out? No, to drop out. No, you don't have to tell them that you're dropping. You just have to. If you don't enroll, you don't. Oh, dead ass. Yeah, so I'm just not gonna enroll for. And I'm gonna enroll. Damn. Yeah, dude, I had an unexploratory. I mean, exploratory major. Exploratory. (sighs) Damn. Yeah, I'm majoring in chemistry. Be a doctor. Be rich. I mean, it's just that, you know, like, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but, like, this is, like, a very, like, higher education school. Like, you know, it's, like, uh, one of the best in the countries, even, like, in the world. Wait, like, is it an IB? Why? It's, it's not, not huh? It's not, but, like, the it's curriculum. Still it, it's the curriculum. Yeah. Script. IB just applies to the sports pretty much, honestly. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's why it's uh, Ivy League, because, like, the sports teams are in the Ivy League. Oh, I thought it was just like smart ass kids. No. Nah. Yeah, we're like top ten in the country or whatever. Bro, I came to ASU low key too for soccer, but these motherfuckers <laughs> don't have soccer. <laughs> but I'm look. Yeah. I was thinking about. I was, I was thinking about transferring to GCU. Boo, that's a process and a half, man. Like I have to go through so much to like transfer. So I'm gonna just you know life. Life's about a lot of changes, so gotta adapt to it. Adapt and learn and keep moving forward. But yeah, like I was saying, like when you go to like an institution like this, like you get like all these kids who are like, smart, you know, like like they were in the top of their schools and you know, they went to private schools or whatever. Like they just have like a plan already. They they have they have everything brainstormed. And in a way, like, by me, just not, I'm, like, very disorganized. At least that's how they make me feel. Because they already have their whole life planned out. And I'm just, like, here, just... It doesn't mean it's going to go that way, you know that, right? Like, some of them might not even be able to... Some of them might not accomplish what you accomplished, and you could accomplish some great things, and they probably won't, you know? Can't like you can't belittle your accomplishments or what, whatever you're going through just because somebody else sounds like their story, like they have their shit planned. Yeah. Doesn't mean on that their shit's gonna that, go. Right. Dude, on top of that, being like so set and like unshaking, like having an unwavering attitude to like your end freshman year, kind of weak. Like if you're not able to adapt and like learn what you want to become as time goes on, you're clearly not gonna be ready for any job adapt to anything you're, you're not ready for the world so having a plan like being a successful student is being able to do things like you're cutting out but what i say is just just learn to adapt you know don't be so if the plan doesn't go to plan you know you gotta learn to roll with it you gotta change it up you gotta change up the tactics anyways i'm useless yeah. here no. <laughs> no, look, I like I I've been planned out. I it's cuz I I'm not like super organized, but like I am organized when it comes to my life's goals and whatnot cuz for me, well I mean for, I, that's how it is for all of for three of us, right? Well, I'm a I'm the first one that's that's gone to college and my family. I'm like the tip of the spear for my whole family, like literally from my dad's side from my mom's side cuz I'm the only one that lives here and U.S. Well, I have like my dad's cousins and whatnot. They're they're still part of family. They're like the far away family, I guess. That's the word. 
everybody like looks up to me because I'm here. Like they like like it's like a big like I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulder. So like I have to plan everything now. I just and let me be honest, bro. Like, like I've had my struggles. I'm not just saying like oh I failed a couple of tests. No, like I've had my struggles where I wanted to just give up. Where it made me just rethink everything and just like literally, bro. When I was low key stressed out towards the beginning of the semester with work, I was like, man, fuck this. I'm about to drop this shit. Then I was like, no, no, no. Like I gotta keep pushing. Like if there's a will, there's a way. You know. So I, that's why. I'm... What the fuck is in my throat? Oh, sorry, sorry about my cock but... slipped. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's dry, God. bro. God damn. It's dry. What the? Yeah. Gotta moisturize that motherfucker. Anyways. Um. Yeah. For me, it's just it's like that's the way I see it. I um I don't do this for myself. I do this for my family to give them a better life. I because and then my brothers too. Like they look up to me. I gotta set the example. I fear that if I don't do good in life. If I'm not successful, like that's that Loki. That's why I do all those inspirational quotes. That's why I post them mm -hmm. because, like, you know, life's a, people say life is not a competition, but Loki is. Well, at least for me, because getting to med school, bro, all the people that, that are in the same age as me, I'm competing against them. Like, it's literally a competition. So I see like a life and death situation, extreme as hell. But if I don't pass, if I don't succeed, then it's the end of the world. A lot of people be like, oh, no, like that's okay. But that's how I see it because I just have this driving force, even though, you know, I'm a little I'm a little lazy from here and there, but I'm pretty driven when it comes to getting business done. So That's why I have a lot of things planned out. But it doesn't always go that way. So you just got to adapt to it and roll with it like Life happens. Life is not always going to be fair. Life is not life is not fair at all. So you just gotta do, gotta play the cards they have to the best of your abilities. <clears throat> They're not always the best Luis, cards. Luis always does like growing throughout <laughs> each podcast. Oh, dead ass. Like, no, I just bro. See, like, Loki, oh, that's oh, that's oh, another oh, one oh, of my oh, dreams. Oh. Be like a motivational speaker because I feel like I'm good at that. Is like, I'm good at that. <laughs> For real. Oh, dude, that dude is annoying. I don't like him. <laughs> nah, he, I don't like him. I know who you're talking about. The guy about the, like the look at me. I think that was his most popular one. He looks yeah. like Oh, yeah, but you know. what I learned is not from listening to them, it's just from my personal experiences, what I went through. That's why I have that mindset, I guess. But anyways, let's. It is. I have to do. It. It's been a good talk. How long has it been? Um, it's been a long let me time. Check. Let me work. Let me work. It's been, two been like hours. what? Whole we've two hit, hours, we've right? Hit, we've two hit hours. It two hours. Exactly two hours and minutes. Yeah. Well, I have to get going, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you. Well, I mean, I'm going to talk to you guys, you know, before the next podcast. But still, have a mm -hmm. good one. Have a good one. Peace out. Holla at your boy. Yo. Hi, right, Dashi. <laughs> you know the vibes. I don't watch it no more, but still. But you still always catch me. Okay. Yeah. Holla at your boy. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. Always. Hey, buddy. Oh, he left. And on that. Damn, he really left. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm actually glad he stayed, though, because he, he said he was just going to stay for an hour. Yeah. No, he said oh, yeah. he said 7.30, but we started, like, at 7, so. Yeah, he stayed for, like, an hour and a half. Stayed for the whole thing. He stayed for more than two hours, because, like, we, start, we even started streaming before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before you came in. Well, yeah, on that note, he said his goodbyes, and it's time for... It's not time for me to say mine. Oh, what does that mean? I have a special announcement to make. Oh. Fabian and I are going to be playing Left 4 Dead on my Twitch channel. Wait, wait. <laughs>
gonna now you're forcing me to play, bro. Yeah, I am forcing you to play because the viewers, man, <laughs> all 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 two subscribers are gonna be expecting it. <laughs> Shout out Luis for following hey. me, by the way. <laughs> you did. Yeah. Okay, so I got excited because I saw the little notification. I was like, "Who's busting us?" Bust uh, nut or whatever. Uh, it's just Lee's. And I was like, I was about to shout him out in the middle of the show, and I was like, oh wait, it's Lee's. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, so are you gonna post Left or Dead on the channel? Um, hold up. So the plan is that we play on stream. We play like Left or Dead on stream. Yeah, but are you gonna post it on YouTube? Then I'm gonna save the recording and maybe like make like a. Did it. Yeah. I'm like a Best compilation, PC. yeah. Oh, we just play Overwatch. <laughs> There's no crossplay. I know, but on the laptop, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your laptop can we run. We should play. Yeah, probably. we should play um a bunch of like multiplayer games or like two player games, or, or if Luis wants to play two, like we get more. Like just like little like indie games or something that we like find and post like a gameplay every week or something. Mm -hmm. That phasmophobia game, I think it's called. Or just like little indie games. I think that'd be fire, though. I mean, that'd be fun. Just we like should do that games. for Halloween or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, dude. I was... We should. And. Because and... on the 30th, it's Friday. So we're going to be streaming. So we should have like a Halloween yeah. special. I, I was going to say maybe like costumes, but we still haven't even done face cam. No, yeah, no, that's not. <laughs> like Maybe phasmophobia. Yeah, but I'm saying though, like that'd be cool if we like pick a new game to play. We could even play Among Us or just anything. Just play a game and uh, post it online. Just like a short, like, animated video or something. I do have a question. Because to play phasmophobia, you need to partition your drive. Oh, damn. Not on PlayStation? It's not on PlayStation. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Even if it was, I can't play with you, bro. Like, okay. Oh, uh, well, I mean, we could, we, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Yeah, look forward to gaming videos. Perhaps. Left 4 Dead is happening because it is on Mac. Left 4 Dead <laughs> is happening for sure, I guess. <laughs> no, just play I'm down. And then, yeah, catch us next week. Remember, we're, we are live stream on Twitch every. Every Friday, around, and depending where you are, but Arizona times, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., somewhere in that time frame. <laughs> for me, uh, for y'all central EST people, it's 8 p.m. I don't know about the East Coast. <laughs> well, East Coast is pretty similar to you, isn't it? I think they... I think it's like two hours more. Yeah, probably. So it'll be... Yeah, just y'all figure out your time zone. We're acting like we have fans. Anyway, yeah, we stream every every Friday, every Friday night. You know, join the stream if you want the exclusives. If not, we post every weekend on the channel. Make sure you follow, subscribe, like, all of that. We appreciate y'all. It's fun doing these podcasts every week. It really nice to get the boys together. Yeah, that's all for me. You got anything? Um, not really. It was a good episode. This is all right. <laughs> I feel like I got pretty. <laughs> Triggered. He didn't. Yeah, you, you did. You kind of snapped at least at some point. I was like, oh. Yeah, I, I did not agree with the model thing. I feel because yeah. if you would have seen the pictures of like the models, I feel like you would have been more on my side. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I didn't see them at yeah, all. Yeah, if you would have yeah. seen them, I feel like you would have been more on my side. Oh, yeah. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. Like, yeah, expect a new, new vid next week. Gaming videos coming soon. Yeah. Peace out. Uh, Goddamn recording. Goddamn idiots who never watch your goddamn videos. I don't think anybody ever joined the stream. <laughs> hey, number. Okay, no, we're not ending yet. I'm gonna put this man on blast. Who? Oh. Number no. one fad killer. If you are watching <laughs> this, my man. <laughs> where were you, bro? We trusted, <laughs> we trusted you. Hey, bro, I'm about to turn into a number one fan killer. Oh, wait, that, <laughs> that's actually a bar because he is technically our number one fan. <laughs> that's insane. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Damn, bro.